everyone. Good morning. Oops. Good, good morning. It's my dogs barking at the delivery dudes, whoever it is, FedEx. Wait for everybody to come in. One moment, please. Try to get my, I want to get YouTube open on my iPad so I can, so I can grab links and et cetera, et cetera for my, so that's the only thing with StreamYard, you can't, uh, you can't grab links and you can't uh, do all that stuff. Okay. How is everyone today? Okay, so this is a live stream, live uh, audience I will be chatting with. If you're bored, just fast forward through the chitter chat and get straight to the art. And um, today I'll be streaming uh, to about 12 or about 12.45, something like that, because I'm going to be uh, taking a class at Kathy Arbor, so I'll be cutting my stream a little shorter than normal, but that's actually more of a normal time to stream for most people. <laughs> so they only usually do six hour streams. Keep forgetting, I gotta switch stuff around because my camera is way down here and it used to be up there, and now it's down here, and I'm having to, I'm having to uh, get used to that. Hi, Lori. Hi, Nash. Hi, Devin. You can only stay for a few minutes. Uh, boo hiss. I loved your tags on Instagram that you made with the paper. I loved how you um, added the um, extra layer of like, you know, think uh, it was a happy Thanksgiving and the pumpkins and you cut out the individual stuff and on the uh, sanded off paper and layered it. I love what you did. I, I really did. I was excited to see that. Kathy also made a few tags as well. Oh, boo, his working glass. They were very subtle, but I thought they were really pretty, though. They were so pretty. And you look at the details, I thought they were so pretty. But again, subtle is good if you're going to put anything, you know, on top of it, too. And some people like subtle, too. Kathy likes, you know, and she has times where she uses crazy color, and then she has times where she uses subtle, you know? So, it just all depends. Well, you're welcome to lurk, Devin, if you're working. Feel free to lurk. You don't have to chat. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Nash. Oh, hi, Peggy. <laughs> I love the cowboy. I love the cowboy emoji. <laughs> love the cowboy emoji. Uh, Kathy will be here in a few minutes. She overslept, so, I, so she's fired. She overslept. She's totally fired. So um, I'm going to work on my, um, I'm cutting the stream short, so I'm going to work on my um, September folder, and um, I'm using one of my Amy folders, Eileen. I think it's one of my Amy folders. So yeah, this is an Amy folder. I'm going to do work on that. That's going to be my art project for today, but I always start off with my haul, so that's what I do. So I start off with some enabling. So I picked up some napkins. I got it. Uh, found these at Menards. Um, it's a hardware store with other stuff. And check out these. I found spider napkins. I definitely have never had spider napkins before. 
and some neon green bats and then I picked this up for fall and what I loved about this one is is because uh, because it has, it's like ship black in the background so it's very it's very country cute with the ship black so in the background so as my got some new napkins like I needed new napkins right I don't have enough napkins And I went to Tuesday mornings and got a few things there. I have to get ready for work in 10 minutes. I can lurk for work. There you go. Lurk for work. Okay. That That's perfect. Yeah, I do too. I love her folders. I love all her stuff. Let's just face it. Hi, Dar. How are you? So, I found this at Tuesday mornings. It's called Simple Stories. And it's a really cute fall. Look at this. Look at the country. Look at all the cute things in here. And I got the larger pad. Let me find it. And I got both because I thought they would come in handy to get the larger one. Let me find it. What's this? Because they also had the bigger paper pack, and I got both because. Sometimes the smaller size is kind of handy. So this is the bigger version they had. Uh, this one was. Hold on. Six, I think. I'm trying to find a, I'm trying to find a plastic wrapper from it. I think this one was six dollars. And this is the, uh, again, like the, wait, wait, let me turn my, let me turn my clay one camera down or my light down above it's like insanely bright okay now you can see it okay I know it's a truck right I had to get it it's got a truck hi Kiki working and lurking thanks for being here oh you cannot lurk for work I'm sorry Devin can you tell I had five hours sleep yeah, I'm hoping that Kathy's a little more awake than me and can do a better job reading chat than I'm going to do today. Oh, okay. Lori goes to work and turns on her iPad. Hi, Ann. Yeah, so um, this is Simple Story, so I'll quickly show you what's in this one. It has a really cute... Quotes, live each day with a grateful heart. I love, and, now, and these are double sided, so you can see it's a soft, pretty blue background. I love the, I love the orange plaid on the back. This one has some uh, green. It's a green blue. It's not a green green. It's definitely a green blue. And there's look at the cute pumpkins. There's the cute pumpkins. And then there's a green. No, this is more of a black plaid. Sorry. Actually, you're seeing the accurate, more accurate colors. I say it's a little dark now. I turned off my overhead, but the glare was terrible. There's a hello fall. No, it's turn sideways. Maybe it make my life easier. And then uh, some cute leaves. And this one has some cute flowers. And the other side, you can see how, of course, it's paper pads. So they... So, you know, they go together, coordinate. I love this one. Look at this one with the distressed wood. Hi, Brooke. <laughs> Good morning. I love this one. It looks pretty. It looks really realistic. So, they did a good job with the, this one. Um, this one, just fall pumpkins, blessed, harvest. 
on the back side has some stripes. Of course, it coordinates with the car on the other side. You know, I had to get it once I saw this, right? <laughs> it's a truck and a wheelbarrow. Love wheelbarrows. And here's the, uh, wait, at some point it, it doubled. This one's got like, there you go. You see it's got little, uh, like a straw, like the straw things. You know what they look like. And some cute little flowers. Hi, Tracy. Another pretty green plaid. This one is gather, give thanks. This is on the wood. Traditions, falling leaves, get cozy, pumpkins, and simply thankful. And you could use this in its entirety, or you could cut these out and use these individually, you know, on a tag or on a page. And I like that you can cut these out. And more flowers in a real soft muted tone. Hi, Candy. Good morning. Let me take a drink real quick. Okay, in the car, you'll be lurking. And thanks for being here. Uh-oh, I don't want to lose your mojo, Lori. And you'll, you'll be like, and you'll end up in front of Netflix binge watching. <laughs> There's some cute fall wreaths. Look at this pretty pad. I love this one. There's another pretty plaid. And then you get tags. The truck saying thanks, thinking of you. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> Happy fall, y'all. And pumpkins and harvest wishes. And there's another plaid. Yeah, look how pretty these look. I might have skipped a page. Sorry, I think I skipped the page. Oop. To the orange and more tags. You are the pick of the patch. <laughs> I like that. Pick of the patch. And then it repeats. So there's that. So in the big pack, I had to get the big pack, of course, because it has stickers. Look. How cute these are it's got a wagon some pumpkins pumpkin there you go there's a pie i love that there's a truck says farm fresh florida and fall in florida means wool thongs I was going to move it around so you guys could see it close up. All the cute stickers. Oh, are they cute? Let me do this. I'm try and keep the glare off the stickers. Oh, see, even now, I like that this is like a little home decor piece. And I think it just, you know, and I love the little window with the wreaths. It just, these are just really cute stickers. And they give you little ones like there's some little leaves scattered about, some little flowers. Here's some little apples. And I look at the boot, Kimberly. See the little boot, the fall flowers, a rain boot, a little pumpkin. And, um, and it has, a, I like the little tabs. And then uh, has a cute little, cute little border. I look at, and I love all the words. Thanksgiving, you know, it's for thank. This is for Thanksgiving, autumn, and fall. So, you know, once you throw some words on your page, it just kind of like it just kind of completes your page. I like this one because I do. I do love fall. It's my favorite time of year. I like this one. Look, too. Look. I pick you. 
the apple in my eye. So these are just really cute country, uh, simple. And then they give you, um, and if this was all like packaged together, I didn't buy these individual. This is one pack and I love, and it has a chipboard. The chipboard is a few different things. Like it has, has like this, who you can see through there. That's freaky. Um, again, the boot and it has, I like the little banner and this is, this is on there. That's on the stickers, a little harvest. So very blessed. And this has the wheelbarrow. This has the wagon. This is a wheelbarrow. I really like the wheelbarrow. And let's show you the doodads. I know. Don't you love the bike in the boot, Kim? Uh, Lori? Isn't it cute? Oh, hi, Tina from Sweden. Welcome to Kentucky. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Sweden, that's awesome. What time is it in Sweden? It is it is uh, 1030 in the morning here. Kathy will be here in a little bit. She's my co-streamer. I'm gonna show you some of that. I'll show you some of these. Oh, look at this one. Those are cute. They're little jars with uh with the apples. I wouldn't have thought to do that. That would be like you got some fake apples to put in those. That would be cute. So that's a really cute fall. And this I love because it's in that. It has the wood tone. It would go with that paper autumn. Oh, look at that. See, that's cute too. Look, there's a ladder. I have a ladder with blankets. Pumpkin in front of it. The pie. Scale. Yeah, this is just some really cute things. You could use these in your planners. If you're a planner person, you could use these in your planners. I like the milk. See, I like this. We have this in the milk jar. You could use this on your scrapbooks, planners, tags, art journal pages. Is it this cute, this little bundle? And it was like six, I think it was like six dollars for the chipboard, the stickers, the things, and paper. So it was a really good deal. And you could, uh, like, if you're doing a daily journal, like I've been doing, these would be cute on that. Oh, bye. Bye, Devin. Thanks for checking in with us. We'll see you later. 4.30 p.m. in Sweden. Wow. That's, that's cool. So it's almost your dinner time. I just ate breakfast. This is cute, too. Oh, look at the rocking chair. Isn't that cute? Look at the rocking chair. I have rocking chairs, too. And I put pillows on them, but I don't put blanket on it. I think I put like a blanket on it. These are just little flowers, little sign, some leaves. I'm just going to, some more leaves. Oh, this is cute. The little fence with the pumpkin. Tis the season to be thankful. This would be just a, like a, and fall this would be like if you had a metal bucket with with mums and pumpkins aren't these adorable there's a little lantern that's cute they cute this would be really cute on a tag and like i said i could see a light and look of course the piece of resistance a truck with pumpkins and look at this Look at this, Kimberly. Look, look, look at Lori. Look, it's a barn door. It's a barn door. Have you ever seen a die cut that has a barn door? I have it. <laughs> Peggy. <laughs> oh, uh, the name of the paper pack is Fall Farmhouse. Oh, we did it. It's doing it with the glare. Fall Farmhouse. 
and it's by Simple Stories is the company. Simple Stories Fall Farmhouse. I can't believe this has this has a barn door as the wreath and the pumpkins. Like seriously, why is there no stencils with barn doors? Sean Petit, if you're listening, we need a wheelbarrow and we need a barn door with the little with the little things up top. Stencil. We need a barn door stencil and a wagon stencil. And a wheelbarrow stencil. <laughs> That's what we need. <laughs> okay. So the paper is. Again. Tags. And this should have the same papers that was in the little pack. I found the little pack first. And then I found the big pack. And the big pack, had, since it had all the little die cuts, chipboard, and stickers, I had to get that too. And, I mean, you all if, if you buy what you love, you'll eventually use it. If not this year, you'll use it next year. So, you know, if you buy, find a good deal on something or find something you love, like, you'll use it. It will not go to waste. Oh, that's cute. You pick pumpkins for 50 cents. These are cute. They're little squares. Oh, these are cute. This is different. This got a few different images on there. Here's like a, would be like a, a crock pot or something. These are different than what's on the other. And I really love this. It's like a robin's egg. It's like a, this is like a robin's egg blue. Hold on. What'd you find? Oh. It's a die cut. Let me see. Oh my gosh. It's a die cut barn door. O M G. Eileen, why have you never shared this? Oh my God. That is freaking so cute. Getting that. Now there's five left. Now there's only four of those left. <laughs> if you want them. Oh my gosh. Eileen's got these secret things she doesn't tell us about. Peace pause for a shopping moment. <laughs> Hi, Gail. Hi, Judy. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> Peace pause for a shopping moment. Oh, my God. Oh, it's true. I still want a stencil, so if yeah, Sean Petit, if you're lurking, I still would love a stencil for this as well. And different and the doors in different sizes. I'm not asking a whole lot. <laughs> oh, let's see. I love this. Uh, this looks like old tin or metal, but it's not shiny. I love this. This looks like an old bucket or watering can. These are all fall words. And you can see there's the pumpkins on the back. There's the plaid. 
I did. I wish I grew. I did not grow up on a farm, but I, my cousins lived. Um, all my dad's family lives in um, southern Kentucky, and I went to uh, their homes a lot when I was a kid. So I spent a lot of time on their farms. But I uh, grew up in the suburbs and still live in the suburbs. But I spent a lot of time on my at my cousin's houses um, on farms, which has probably definitely influenced my love of farms. Um, my first house that Tom and I had, we had a farm at the end of the property. Our end of the we lived on a street that that ended, and it had a farm. And then uh, this last house that we just purchased, we live at the end of the street. Um, I don't know. They'll probably eventually add on, but uh, it's a, it actually butts up to a farm as well. So it's funny at your first house and your last house ends up the, like that. But I actually face a farm now and they, you, I can see the corn um, from the other side. I can see the hay bale rolls and yeah, I really love it. I'm hoping it's, it's like forever before they buy the property of Bressler Farm out and add on to our neighborhood. I would love it to stay a farm. We have deer, little baby deer, mommy deer running around. I love it. So I, I live next to a farm in a neighborhood. And um, that and like I said, I grew up going with my cousins. Also my grandparents, my dad's grandparents lived in the country my cousins still live in the country. And then my mother's mom uh, lived in the city, complete opposite. Yeah, we did the outhouses. Yeah, they had outhouses. And my uncle was the first to have a flushing toilet down there. And yeah. And we made homemade ice cream as a kid growing up. Yeah, I could send Tom over there. I'm allergic to grass. So that's it. Yeah, I'm allergic to grass. How can you love the farm and be allergic to grass, right? Dogs have allergies and I'm allergic to grass. Yep, so Tom would be mowing it. I would love it if Tom mowed it. He mows now because, I mean, he's, uh, he's mows now. I used to mow. I took over mowing at one point, the other house, and now I'm allergic to grass. So I found out, so I don't mow anymore. So I read that the, top, the longer your grass is, the more pollen it gives off, and it makes your allergies worse. So you, if you have uh, grass allergies like I do, you're supposed to keep your lawn very short to keep the uh, pollen down. So I thought that was interesting. Hi, Carla. Yes, I have photos. Oh my gosh, you should see me. I have photos. Oh, I can see. I'm a board, I won't bore by family photos. But I have photos down at my uncle's house. And it was one of my fondest memories. All of us got together, all my dad's brothers and his sister. And, all my, and they had lots of kids. They all had lots of kids down there. It was just me and my brother. And then they all had like four or five kids each. And uh, we made homemade ice cream. I thought that was the coolest thing I ever seen. Like at that point, I'm like, I didn't even know you could make your own ice cream. You know, living in the burbs and all, you know what I mean? So yeah, that was one of my fondest memories. So we did that and we would, uh, we played baseball together and their, in their field. Um, one of the other things is we, um, we also helped them out sometimes, like they would help us out, like if we, my dad had trouble, like lend them a car or whatever, if they had trouble, my dad would help them out. And one time um, we went down and um, my, a lot of my dad's uh, brothers are, and their wives would do to earn extra money in the summer. They would work in tobacco, you know, cutting tobacco. And so we went down there and we were doing is hanging the the tobacco they're hanging it in the barns like they were like we were like it was i thought it was a fun day because we're riding around a tractor with a trailer full of like stinky tobacco and we're running you know going and hanging them in the barn and i didn't have to do any of the work but i watched it as a kid i watched my dad and 
all his brothers and stuff and the older cousin boys uh, doing it. And I just rode back and forth in the trailer, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> Explored the barn. I had some fond memories like that. The outhouse memories, I don't know if those are so much fond as um, interesting. <laughs> I have a lot of outhouse memories too. Um, oh yeah, I take that back. It looks like the Simple Stories was six nine. It was six ninety nine, and this pack I'm going to show you is also six ninety nine. Normally fifteen. Yeah, they did. They they did. Uh, they worked in. I think primarily his brothers, like my dad, they worked in factories and stuff. Yeah, they had a hard life growing up, and um, they're lucky they did as well as they did. And so they would work on tobacco farms in the summer to earn extra money. They're hard working. His my dad was my dad's very was always uh my dad would work multiple jobs whatever it takes. He's very hard working, and so is his family. All of them were. Good, they had good ethics. Work it. Oh, you did. Growing tobacco at your grandma's farm. Well, it, it is hard work. It is hard work. I remember seeing my dad and them. They were so tired. And you know, it's funny. You do that one thing. And I remember to this day, I remember what the, that bar, like where the bar was hanging in. Like, I remember to this day, like what the barn smelled like what did the tobacco smell like when I was riding back and forth on the trailer and they're pulling it with the tractor and stuff like I remember the smell to this day I remember the smell like you know certain like smells you'll never forget that's one of them let's see let's see anything else Cheryl the kid you had Oh, see, Cheryl said hi to her, Joan Brooke. Okay, we'll make sure no one else popped in. I didn't see. Oh, you're allergic to chiggers in the grass. That makes sense. I'm allergic to grass pollen. Um, ah, I like it. Judy, I like the way you think. She needs, to, she needs to get on there, on her little tractor, get out there and stream cutting instructions. I like it. And then she can play the song. You think my tractor's sexy? Why she's you know, riding that? I love it. Oh, hi, Journey. How are you? Oh, thanks for popping in and saying hi. Colleen, the allergic farmer, right? Oh, hi, Pam. <laughs> yeah, Judy, a real flushing toilet. That was, that was, uh, that was, woo, let me tell you. Yeah, my uncle was fancy when he had a flushing toilet. That's the, my favorite uncle to visit was was the uncle who had a flushing toilet. Let me tell you. Oh, he was my favorite uncle because he had a flushing toilet. And he also had a really nice, he had a barn and he had animals, of course, you know, a donkey and, a, you know, a horse. And he had a pond. You could fish. It was fun. Um, I would say it smelled like it smelled stronger than regular tobacco when it, it, it smells stronger than that. It, it definitely has smelled stronger, especially since you, if you imagine a barn and all the, the tobacco hanging where they dry it out, imagine like cigarettes, but like a million to a million cigarettes hanging above your head. I think it was amplified by the fact that the, there is so like all the tobacco and a closed in, well, kind of closed in. It's a barn with, you know, had open doors on the top and stuff to air out the tobacco, but it was strong. It was really strong. And I was like, I was concerned when I was a kid when we first started, I was concerned it was like a vegetable and we were going to have to eat it. And when I found out it was a tobacco and you smoke it. I was so relieved because I hate vegetables and my parents used to spank me for not eating my vegetables. So I was very thankful that it was not vegetables. I wasn't going to have to eat it. So as a little kid, I never seen that before. I thought it, um, I was like, oh God, I'm not eating this. I hate vegetables. I still hate vegetables. <laughs> yeah, you 
is right, Tracy. Ew is right. <laughs> Not a good smell. <laughs> so this, this paper pack is called Simple Stories. And it's called Autumn Splendor. This is the same company. The other was uh, the other was Farm um, Farmhouse. This one's called Autumn Splendor, and this one was seven dollars too. This one is beautiful. I love this one too. I well, again, I always love everything. So you'll hear me say that over and over. I love this because I do. Um, uh, this is watercolor and pen. I love pen and ink. Um, you can see. You can see the flowers drawn on here. You can, and here are the sunflowers and butterflies. You can see it sketch, and I love the background, real soft with farm and grass seed, like you would, you know, you know. And you can see the print. I mean, this would be a beautiful page if you did it yourself. Like, um, you would need, you know, a just beautiful. On the back is a plaid. This is really pretty. This is turquoise with, with peaches. I'm sorry, peaches. Those are apples. Hello, apples. <laughs> I know what apples are, I swear. I mean, if you look at the background, there's some French French uh, uh, font in behind. This one's really pretty, too. This looks really muted. Um, this almost looks like if it was all from an old book. These are just like, these are just copies of like vintage, would be like vintage papers. Um, this one's really pretty. Look at the sunflowers, the butterflies, the bees, all in these autumn colors, oranges and reds. And it's really pretty. And then the background has some font. Hi, Sophia. Peaches, apples. I don't eat either. I don't eat apples or peaches, so... <laughs> I don't eat a lot. I don't eat a lot of fruit either. Um. Oh, Miss Myla. Hi, Myla. Which one of us stole the pa jar of paper clips? Me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Journey. Since she's happy to find us, uh, find me live. So I got, uh, this one's a pretty orange with white polka dots. I love this. I love everything about this. And uh, this one's really, so this again is like the shiplap with the French. Uh, I guess it's French. No, nope, it French. It's English. I can't read. I had five hours sleep last night. I am struggling. Oh, and I got to paint later today, so I've got to wake up. So I will be drinking extra Diet Dr. Pepper today. Thank you very much. Look at this. Aren't these beautiful, Joan? <laughs> it's a Yankee Candle full of paper clips. <laughs> oh, it's a good idea to reuse your Yankee Candle jars for paper clips. Isn't that cute? Look. Yeah, they put a, bag, a seed bag and some fall flowers. I like it like if the, you could do this. I mean, this would be a great inspiration for your own page to layer up that. And on the back are sunflowers and bees. Oh, this paper is so, I can't tell you how much y'all love fall. <laughs> can't tell you how much I love fall. This is, again, like all the little squares. That was in the other one. Lots of leaves, sunshine. I just, uh, it's just so pretty. I just like got this paper and I just stared at it. I was like, this paper is so pretty. And then you have coordinating polka dots. There's more quotes. Fresh picked. Love for Anna. That looks cute with the doily behind it. I love this. Again, this is like pen. Like pen and watercolor. Um, and of course, I love that because it's on the wood. And then, oh, just so pretty. This would be fun. So you could cut this out and you could put something on here. That'd be good to use, uh, put if you want to journal about something on there. 
this is cool this is almost like camo green like mossy green camo green autumn days pumpkin patch again these are all oh, this one's cute look at this one with the little kids oh they're smushing apples it looks like oh look at that and i really love this one i want turquoise leaves so i'm thinking if i'm going to do some leaves on paint uh use my leaf stencil i'm going to I'm going to use turquoise. Look how pretty that looks. Etsy has some simple stories, papers. Oh, thank you. Hi, Mary. Hi, she pins. I love that. So I'm going to make some leaves. I want to make blue leaves. Green. I want to make this bluey green. I'm leaving that out for inspiration because why not? It's my leaves. Are they have blue leaves. It's a green blue. It's really more this color. It's a green blue. It's really pretty. I love this. Look at this with the pumpkin, the doilies. Don't you just see this and just think, oh, that's when I fell in love with scrapbooking. This is why I fell in love with scrapbooking. There are so many pretty papers out there. This is why I fell in love with scrapbooking. Just the papers are just gorgeous. And this is the same as the other. You get a sticker pack. And you got to love stickers. Oh, that's cute. Splendor, awesome. Leaves, hello, fall. Pumpkins, his harvest. That's cute. Oh, I like the squiggly. I like the font. Oh, that's cute. Patch for the, for the bingo card. Well, fall, filled with gratitude. Yeah, just all fun, fall, autumn, sweet stickers. That's cute. And then there's another fall leaf page. I don't like this one as much as the others. I don't, this is like, wow, this has to be toned down with something. I like the back. This is the same as the, this one, well, no, this is a little different. That's has the kids smushing apples. This one has the kids over here gathering the apples. That's a, that's a sweet scene. And then this one, of course, I love because there's some stable, barn and stables. Oh, that must be the big city. No. Uh, there you go. And that may be... I don't know if that would be like the covered bridge leading to it. And then, new. I just like to look at stuff. This is really pretty. So, it looks like they did. Uh, this is more like the skeleton leaves. And then they colored them in. And then they also just barely colored them. Looks like they gessoed it out and uh, muted the background. I left some of them out. But you can see I love the leaf being brown, yellow, red. I mean, just really soft tones. I mean, yeah, leaves look like this once they get gross, like they start getting all spotty. I like that this like represents like where they start getting spotty and eventually they start getting real thin and see-through and they do get skeleton towards the end. Um, I don't think they, they, this is a lot for me. I don't like that page. And then it's just cute with the pumpkins. Oh, love this one. Farm and garden seeds. And look at the big, look at the cute bees there. Aren't they cute with the little, I love the bees. Look at the details of the wings. Is, is, is it a beautiful paper? I mean, this is what made me fall in love with scrapbooking to begin with, is all the beautiful papers. And it just there, gives you ideas. Hi, Jilly. Okay, Kathy's in. I'm going to bring her in. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Oh, good morning. I need to switch my camera. It's still where it was the other day. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah? Yeah, setting up her... Oh, okay. Kimberly's setting up her September journal. All right, sorry I'm late this morning. That's all right, I've still, I've been going through 
I love to spend money at two other places besides Amazon. I do that too, Cheryl. I'm with you. I go wherever I find a deal, wherever it's cheap. French. <laughs> I did scroll back and saw that French English. <laughs> oh my God. This paper pack was $40 on Amazon, I'm showing. Holy what? Wow. I can't tell you how much I love Tuesday morning. Let's see. Holy cow. Let's see. Yeah, I got uh, I got them for six ninety nine, and they said they are normally fifteen. And, and the same paper pack was forty for this one. It's got stickers. It has the papers. It has the die cuts. Woo wee! Look, at that. that's a lot. Especially as much as much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her little. Especially oh as, yeah. It's much like make little. everyone sick. As much as um, I buy paper. Uh, again, like this to me, I don't like the this one. It's too busy, too dark. I'd have to put something really light and pretty on top. I like this kind of dark. Okay, so you saw the papers. This is what the cover looks like if you're looking for it. Leaving this out. And look at this pack. You know why this pack's more expensive? It came with this one instead of coming with the sticker. It had the stickers in here and the chipboard, but instead of the uh, chipboard thing, it has this and that. Uh, I can't talk today. Instead of this, like the other pack I had, it has frames. So then you can add, you can put your photos in here or whatever. Oh, this is so cute. We put on something darker, show up better. There. Treasure this moment. Are these cute? Oh, where'd you get all that stuff, Colleen? Tuesday mornings. You're kidding. They had, when I went there the last time, they had a few things, but they had a ton of new stuff. So they're finally starting to fill the store up again. It was so empty. And it looks like they're finally uh, starting to fill the store up again. Okay. Good morning, everybody. I just got my, my chat. Hey, Eileen. Hi, Joan. Ann. Brooke. Cheryl. Peggy. Mary. Kimberly. I think I got everybody. Carla, Safia. Yeah. I like how this one looks like two of them were laying, were laid, or it looks like two pieces when it's one. I like how they, they tilted it and then shaded it to make it look like one's laying on top of the other as a neat effect. Oh, it's not? Oh, wow. That's really cool. And this is cute. So this one says here, you could, you could put a picture of your house here. Or you could put a picture of your family home you grew up in or your house you currently live in. This would be cute to put your a picture of a house in. And now what what's on the file folder? Um, I mean, I'm making my September. They're almost out of September, so I got to get my butt moving. Get my September folder done for Cass's file folders. And I was, I was inspired by a... This was in the, um, it's a girl and it's like a scribbly girl. You know, you put your pencil down and you just uh -huh. don't, lift, you don't lift it up. Right. Um, or pen. And this was in the flow. No, not flow. Daphne diary magazine. Oh, cool. Now what's the background? And so, so I, so I went and looked at this and then I drew my own off of this. This is in the Daphne diary. Oh, cool. Yeah. Blind contour. Yeah. Yes. A line. Yes. Blind contour. And so I thought this was really neat and it's to be cute for fall. And so I, um, I did my best to make my own version. And this is the green folder I got from Amy. I was wondering if you did that or if that was one from Amy, that's gorgeous. 
And then I put some of Amy's other papers inside. Oh, and nice. so these in here. And this is Amy's paper on the back of that. And then started another Amy's paper. I didn't have a barn. I don't have anything on the back yet. Or I just have it partly done. Oh, and I started working yeah. on my fall folder for September. So then I can get to a spooky Halloween one for October, right? That's a given. Yeah, I got this some is, scary magazines for October to put in mine. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah, you gotta show us those when yeah. I get done. Yeah, because those are fun. Like you know, once you get to the holidays, I think these are these are gonna be these are fun ideas. I mean, easy folders because uh -huh. it's with the holidays, it's a given. Here you go, pumpkins, hay rides, and apple cider. Fall is here. I used to love to take my kids to. Uh, we go through the corn mazes and the um, pumpkin patch picker, you know, ride on the tractor and sell the hay bales and pick our pumpkins. I love doing that stuff. It was fun. Other harvest. And they always have little crafts for the kids. And then there's always be cute little like displays like. You know, where you could stand and get photos, big scarecrows and oh, yeah. and all that. We, you know, a lot of photo op places when you're in there. And my favorite is one place we went to had a, a donkey. And oh my gosh, Kim was standing there and it did. It's like really, you know, donkeys do, are loud. They're like, you know, do that. He hauls down like <laughs> it scared the bejeebies out of Kim. And I'm pretty sure I had the camera on. And I was videoing it, and she was standing like I was taking a photo. I know, I know. Says she's standing in front of the donkey, and she wanted a photo with the donkey because he is head over. And so I was getting ready to take his picture, and it it did that really loud right next to her. She screamed and jumped. It was so funny. Oh, that's fun. And then after after that, we loved that donkey. Oh my gosh, we loved that donkey. He was so full of character. He's like, we're looking at everybody else. I'm like, me i wanted a donkey I oh get that's so cute now here's the difference between okay. having girls and boys i remember taking kevin and his friends and you know we went to the pumpkin patch and we did the farm maze and their favorite little like you know how they have stuff set up like you said was the outhouse with the guy sitting inside the outhouse <laughs> <laughs> and well i love that so funny <laughs> they didn't have outhouses at the uh places i went to yeah this was i mean it wasn't a real guy sitting in the outhouse it was like a stuffed a stuffed guy and they thought that was funny oh good that one's that one's 14 dollars at scrapbook.com sophia said if you want the one i'm holding up that's what this said regularly 15 and then it was um i got it for six but I love the words, sweater, wetter, hay rides, falling for you, apple cider, scarves. I just, just all these uh, fun, my camera can't focus there. Now it's got it. All these fun fall thoughts and quotes. And um, yeah, they, I'd like, it was just a fun day um, having, when we would go to those and watching the kids. Um, my oldest hated it, hated it. Hated it. Me and my youngest, we petted everything. Of course, you know, they, they would do have the uh, sanitizer around and things like that. You know, we uh -huh. petted everything. We loved everything, you know. And my oldest was like, oh, they smell. They're gross. They're dirty. Blah. Oh, I hate this place. Oh, this place stinks. Now I'm not touching those dirty things. Blah. And me and my youngest are just like, all. Oh, my and my youngest were like, oh, look at the donkey. We're hugging it. want to kiss it. Love all over it, you know. We're like, who cares if it smells? And, you know, my oldest was like, blah. And then she never, like, she literally got to a point where she stayed home. And just me <laughs> and my husband and my youngest would go to the the corn mazes and the uh, petting farm kind of pumpkin patch farm. It was like a pumpkin patch, but it was also a uh, you know, petting farm. Yeah. Oh, that's and, fun. Yeah. You know, and she go to the corn mazes, but no, she was like, this is awful. I mean, she, to this day, she would think she just totally 
turned off by anything farm. <laughs> and she is she is my mother. My oh, mother yeah. is city. My grandma is is living in the city. My mom grew up in the city, still city. And my dad grew up in the country. And yeah, you know why they're divorced now. Uh, or divorced when I was a kid. And uh and I love country. My brother actually prefers ruler as well. I don't know if he loves country. He just don't like people. He just prefer to be away from people, which is kind of a kind of a how his family was for more for the most part. I like living out away from people. So, um, hey Colleen, yeah. I'm supposed to ask you what you bought already today. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so in the other paper pack. Uh, and the um, other paper pack I bought, which was Ball Farm House, they uh -huh. had a die cut of a barn door, a sliding barn door on the wheel. So I said, so I said, if uh, if Sean Petit was watching, if she could make a barn door with a little wheel stencil and a wheelbarrow, she has a wagon and not a wheelbarrow. Uh huh. I would love it. And then and then Eileen pulls up. From, it pulls up on Amazon a die cut for a barn sliding door. <laughs> so sorry, oh, shop today. Cool. <laughs> but I would still like a stencil with like like oh, a, yeah. a or Catherine Anderson if you're listening. Pictures. <laughs> <laughs> the barn sliding doors, all different sizes, small, medium, big, single doors, double doors. Would love a book of barn. Even like farm, industrial, modern. Yeah, inside doors, outside doors. Yeah, and yeah, I would love that. So, Catherine Anderson, that would be great. Stencils. Colleen has her request out. <laughs> Who else is? I got to make sure they watch my video. How can I make sure they're there? <laughs> uh, let's see. This one is um, authentic, and this was 10. It says normally 40. Which is uh crazy. I don't weigh 40, but if you look at this, it says $21.99. So I don't know if that's accurate. But anyway, this is a scrapbooking calendar making pack. And I'll go flip through. These are more vintage, more vintage images. Yeah, they look uh like old or Victorian, old. maybe, or 50s. Yeah, Victorian, that would be a good word. But then they look kind of, I don't they are, they're pretty. I kind of like the colors. It's really different with that light blue. How neat is that? Dora said that her aunt had a miniature donkey and every year was in live nativity scenes for Christmas. Oh, what a wonderful memory that is, Dar. Aw. Let's see, is anyone else pop in? I haven't seen. I want to make sure. Oh, I did find a lot of great bargains, Joan. I really did. Okay, Cheryl said she hopes you get your tags booked by Tuesday. <laughs> oh, who said that? Uh, Cheryl. So Cheryl's uh, sent them, and um, she said that they should be they should be here Tuesday next Tuesday. Next Little time. sister Cheryl, I got yes. her. You do? Yeah. Oh, Cherry has them, Cheryl. I got them. Unless she's talking to someone else, maybe unless she's in some other tag thing. Oh, that could be. Yeah, I got Cheryl's and Deborah's, and Deborah sent hers after Jeannie, and I still haven't gotten Jeannie's yet. So my mail though is just really screwy. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to. They're divided into three groups. I'm going to try and get two of them out today, no later than tomorrow. And then the the ones that came in this week, as soon as I have all of them, they'll get sent out hopefully like Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So that's the plan. Yeah, $9.99 was for this. And it's, it's, oh, look at those Santas. It's really thick. So this is, um, it's a cow. It's supposed to, yeah, it's. It's calendar. Well, it says for calendar scrapbooking. So it has all these. Look at these vintage images. I don't use vintage that often, but they are fun to have around if you want to. Look at this. I really love this. I love this with the kids. 
decorating the trees and putting candy canes on it. And then this is the Santa like I remember more as a kid, like the red Santa. Yeah, like the Coca Cola Santa. Um, but yeah, they, it's it, there. I love this. These would be cute. I figured that, like this has December on it. These would be cute for my daily planner. And I have some silhouette images on here too. Um, I think, the, and then of course, I love this barn scene uh, or cab, log cabin. Uh, might be a log cabin and some deer. So now on the other side, it has a paper. Now on the back side of these, they have. So, like, if I put these in my daily journal and I just do, like, a tip it, like, here's the birds on the back side has this. So, they're double-sided. This was on here, too. I already cut that out. I was going to use that. And then, Oh, I like the backs. Yeah. The fact that they have backs to them, you can do these as tip-ins, and then the back side is decorated. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I do. I like that. Hey, did you show your the bags you got? No, I haven't got to the bags yet. Oh my goodness! Okay, well I'm, I'm going, going to. to I, bought, I went. I went crazy buying paper Tuesday morning, so I just like did just they're right up my alley. They're farmhouse, country barns, trucks. Just love it. Perfect. And then I go and buy now this one again. Like this would be cute. You could cut this out, put this on on the front of your November. Um, you're doing a daily journal for every month. You can put this on your cover. Uh huh. So I was thinking daily journal would be what I will leave some of these in. But yeah, daily these, journal, monthly journal, fall pages. I mean, God, you'd be able to use that a ton. Yeah, you can see. I mean, the fall pages are really pretty. And you and like I said, like here's the plaid Christmas, and here, like you can see this one, the turkeys. Like say so that says November. You could use all these, and I love the little girls standing here. Like I said, they're different. Some are more really Victorian, like this. I, you know, I'd be less likely to to use. I would definitely would use that. I would use this. Hey, Colleen, go back a minute. Hey, Brooke, who's Edith Holden? She said, "Go back." Was that Edith Holden in the top of that page? On Which one, one, Brooke? Which was, page? Was it, was, it, uh, was it the snow, or was it? The one with the Christmas with Santa's? Yeah. Brooke, which oh, page? She didn't, know, she didn't know you, yeah, she didn't know you had them. She's on, Brooke's usually delayed with her, her chat. Yeah. Her uh, internet, so, or it could be this one. So you're this one she's talking about or this one? Next to the Coke Santa, this one. So one of these is Edith Holden. Hi, Kathy. I don't know who Edith Holden is. Who is Edith Holden? Oh, let me. Let's look. Oh, the one that says December. Okay, oh, this one's upper left. Oh, Edith Holden, that's that one book. Oh, look at her being smart. I know what you. That's that one. I will Google Edith Holden. Oh, now I'm. Boy, look at her. She's like smart as a witch from this book. This, this one. This is oh, Edith. Yeah, she is. So she thinks that that might be her. Uh, she was a British artist and art teacher. I see October, November. She did the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady in 1977. Let's see. This is December. Are you? Can you hear me, Colleen? I can. I sure can. Can you not hear me? Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who is even holding? That could be a good book title. I don't see. This is very. I'd say this is. So, I mean, here's the holly, and here's the holly, and it's a holly with birds. It's not in this particular book, I don't think. But yeah, that does. It does look. That does look similar to her work. Okay, I'm sorry, Colleen. My 
sound was muted, so I may have been just talking over you like randomly. Oh, I didn't notice. Okay. <laughs> we talk over each other. I talk over you more than you talk over me anyway. So we just like, ignore each other. <laughs> you, you owe me. <laughs> you owe me. But I mean, it was probably really random. I'm like, God, Kelly's awfully quiet. You need to talk <laughs> over me, man, because that's pretty much where it goes. I talk over you, so get even with me. I'm so bad about that. Um, with the internet worry. delays, it's hard. Look at October. I think this would be fun. I just, like I said, there's some Victorian images that probably not my style, but then there's lots of cute ones in here. And you can incorporate these into the other papers we were at. Like we were just using the hay rides, the ticket for the pumpkin patch. You could totally like, cut out the these just to glue on your um, collage. The owl, the pumpkin. So I feel like there's a, most of these you could use these um, scrapbooking art that are just put on your joint here on a market. Hey, you know, so I feel like most of these you can use. So here's, then you get to the backgrounds, quotes. I love this. I love this, this plaid with the orange and black. And then you get to this, there's the truck silhouette. So she thinks these, these do remind the reminder of the Ethan Holton. Those are awesome. The lettering is identical. Let me look at the lettering. It is. Oh my gosh. How does Brooke do that? She's good. Okay, so I'm really mad because I took, you know, I was working on like the fall journals, the scary journal, the Christmas journal. I packed everything up, put it all away so next year I could take it out again and use up all my stuff. She's right. Oh, there's such, you got to stop showing all these cute. <laughs> I'm never going to use anything. Up. She's right. It is identical. The handwriting is identical. She has nailed it. It is identical. Huh? Wow. Man, you are good, Brooke. Look at that. It is identical. These have to be hers. There may not be in this, but does she have other, there it is. It's actually this freaking page. I'm stupid. <laughs> this whole thing, look. They must, just, have paid, they must have paid to use the copyright, I would yeah, hope. Yeah, because this is, a, this is a miniature version of this. Oh, my God. Oh, that's cool. She's, yeah, uh, kudos, man. She's good. You should I cut like, that out, Colleen, and stick it in that page. That's what I was thinking. So look at that. That is it. I can't believe you had one of her books. <laughs> <laughs> this was uh, this was enabled by Dee Dee a long time ago. It's probably on some of the auctions recently. Oh, that's true. That they you are surprised they hold copyrights to that. Good point. Okay, how many pages are in this pad? Let's see. Let's see if we can quickly count. Oh, okay, stuff, yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and I have some laying out 36. Looks like 36 pages. That's really, I may, I'm going to have to go to Tuesday morning now. I debated on this one only because of all the Victorian images. Like there was some I really love, and then there's some I'm like, eh, not me. But then you know, I mean, but then there were so many cute ones that overrode the few that I didn't like, just because even if I don't like, like for instance, if I don't like some of the like some of these images, I could use the back. So, okay, I may have to do one of these journal covers, like Rosemary showed us how to make and do a whole book like that, just in one of these. 
me look, make you bigger so I can see what you mean. Remember from the, um, I forget. Oh, oh, but when we did the, uh, what was Renaissance. That? Renaissance, yeah. I was going to use this one for my Jane Austen, but I think what I'm going to do is I might do another one and just get that paper pack and put all that in here. And do kind of, is it all Christmas, Colleen, or is it? No, it's every, it's a calendar. It's a, it's called the calendar collection. So it, it's a, all the months are in it. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Just a whole like month thing. Like the, yeah. It's like, it, it is, a, it is every month in it. And every month has like this, uh, every month has, the same every month has a calendar page like with the month uh -huh. on it with some cute images to cut out or the double picture. sided and then one big scrapbooking sheet that says for scrapbooking and for and then on the back there's another whole sheet of pattern and then you get images and for each one so you get like three sheets that makes sense three sheets per month like the this one, this one, yeah, so solid. That way you can use for scrapbooking or planner. I could do it and then do an insert like I did. Here's the Renaissance one I did. Hi, Dot. How are you? Oh I do God, another. Being these assistants. <laughs> Authentic. You were do a Christmas. traveler's journal for like a, a date book. And then just put a bunch of different pictures inside. This is why we make a good team. See, Kathy, has, she has good ideas. We both kind of, we both get good ideas and we bounce them off each other. That's what I might do, like a traveler's journal. Make it like a date book or something. And then just do some pictures inside. This one's, I did the Renaissance journal with the Timmy cover. Huh, huh, huh. Now I just have to go find the paper pack. Oh, hi, Nana. Hi, Jamie. Okay. that's. I think that's what I might do, along with my hundred gazillion other things. I, <laughs> I do that. <laughs> uh, Mary, this is the authentic calendar collection. It's, uh, it's great for calendar making scrapbooking, card making, and more. You could do your favorite photos from each month. Yeah, yeah. we have some samples down below. So here would be if you use it for uh, for scrapbooking. Like let's say you want to do a, you know, a monthly one and then you run them through the digi thing and give them out as gifts to people. And then this shows if you were going to make a card. Let me tell my camera to be more intelligent about this. There. Hard. Go ahead and put yourself bigger, Colleen. Okay. And then over here, look at the journal. See how you're talking about this? Look. Shit. Oh, see. yeah. Oh, my God, on there. Hold on. There you go. Okay. You look how, see how they have it like this? They're showing uh -huh. that. Look at your on the, look at track you're on. Oh See, yeah, it's a little flip journal. So there, this would be for March, and there's the girl. There's the paper that's in the. You put the paper in the background. You make a pocket. You put her in. You make some pockets. Then you use the tags, and they did a book, a like made a book just like you're showing. Flip, flip, flip book, and then there's another card. So it's used for that. So you're right on track. Look at your brain working. Look at that. That's oh, that what they have on there. Hey, Jamie, I have a huge list. Nothing's checked she's, off. She's good. <laughs> no, I have a couple things checked Look off. Her. She's already thinking, I'm going to put this in a book, and it's already on there. So there you go. This would be your tags. That would be your cover. Again, this could be, this is your background for the calendar book. I like the idea of making a calendar book. That'd be fun. If you get to find a, the get the paper pack, we could do that together. I like that. Yeah, that would be fun. Now and, this, and every one of the easiest hold an image every month. That would be fun. And then look for other ones too. Like this one. You like see, this one has like school buses. There's a teacher. If you're a teacher, you would like this one because it's got a teacher, teacher and kids. 
um, students picking apples. Yeah, this would be fun to make a calendar. This would be great to make a calendar. Journal. And then incorporate some of the vintage stuff we've been collecting. Yes, that's true. Oh, you use all those ledger pages and all the other stuff we find. Or, oh, or our books. Yeah. So, again, they're double sided. Yeah. And each one, I love these colors. These are pretty. A muted beach tones for August. And you can use them in the Kathy Arbor file folders. Oh, you could. You could totally cheat. Hello. <laughs> I've got mine made already planned for the next 12 months. <laughs> Kathy Arbor file folders. <laughs> you ain't have to think about it. It's done for you. What's your excuse? Why are you not doing it? That's right. What's your excuse? See, that was there. Hold on. Here's July, my book is split because of me bending it for so you get the here's the fourth July images. They're really cute. Same here, Jamie. <laughs> this one is, is June. Bees, <sighs> wedding cakes, wedding bells. Oh, the beehive. <sighs> yeah, the beehive's cute. Like you, you cut these out. Their little stamps and again they're all the backs of these are double sided so if you have any what if you make these tags they'll pull they'll be fine hey colleen look at yeah. helen simon says stamp has it for 49.99 that paper pack it said that you know it said the original price this is uh do i i got oh, wrong papers as for the other paper pack hold on Tuesday mornings has it for $9.99 saying that the $40 retail. Okay, I'm heading over there. That's why that's what made me decide to get it. When I saw that it's it's originally 40 bucks for 10. How could you like not buy it and save 30 bucks? Hey, like, I don't know what I don't know what percentage that is off, but I'm not very good at math, but yeah. Okay, the original Edith Holden is 1906. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, if it's all hers, they had to pay for the copyright. It probably, they probably do sell them for 50 bucks. Yeah, so here is the paint. I just love the, I have all of it. Everyone, so there's again, every one of them has Edith Holden on here. Um, The original is 1906. So I'm not sure this is this is not because that would have been really expensive. Oh, that's in the front. That's in the front. This one is from, this one I have is from 1977. Bring myself so it's bigger than you can see it. Okay, so then you got the bee. Look at the cute little bee. There's the beehive. You have a silhouette on one, Edith Holden on the other. Cute little vintage images. Like I said, I I saw the price. I debated about this, but when I saw the price tag. I was like, I need to just get it. I mean, seriously. I'm glad you did. Now, now, like the whole like making a either use this for folders next year or make a little calendar book. I'm all over that. How fun would that be? Yeah, I love this blue and it's. Pink. I just love everything about these. This right here. I just love everything about the little girl looking at the. Oh, look at she's looking at the old-fashioned cards. How cute! Oh, and the little girl hugging her mom. That is both. Oh, both of them. Oh, look to mom with love for Mother's Day for May. The little girl picking flowers. Yeah, it's just really. It's a. It's just a beautifully done. This is April. Oh, there's a little lamb little rabbit well i would this was sealed up so what i was doing was i pulled the bottom open and i was like going through <laughs> looking at the store what was in it <laughs> oh so you're the one who opens those I'm the open some packages. <laughs> <laughs> so i want to see what i'm getting i want it to be like amazon this comes again it has the, the you get two choices to choose from the umbrellas are the plaid and look this this looks like that one girl the can't think of her name in TV. Oh, Shirley Temple. 
Charlie Temple, thank you. I knew you would think of it. <laughs> she was my idol when I was four. Um, I watched the reruns of the black and white. Hi, yeah, Lisa. I used to too. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Linda. Linda, are you going to be at Ingrid's on Sunday? Or are you hunting? Kathy Arbor says she has a Graphic 45 calendar pack. So there are other companies that have it too. So Graphic 45 is a calendar pack as well. Um, this and again, everyone will have Eden Holden on it. I love that she picked that out. I didn't even like, didn't even click. So here is um, the art. Temple in her craft closet, I think is what she said. Oh, good. I'll see you Sunday then, Linda. Um, did you, <laughs> Kimberly has Shirley Temple in her craft closet? Oh, do you? Good <laughs> Sunday. This, this one's this one's pretty too. I said that if you're in the Victorian, you're gonna go crazy. Here again, there's Eden's artwork, and if you're in the Victorian, this is definitely Victorian. Um, and, and then you got the February. See why I was wanting to peek? Because you only got a glimpse of some of the images. Uh huh. But even peeking, I couldn't totally see it well. Good find, Colleen. Oh, Thank you. Day. Yeah, look at the the hearts. I love the heart page, and I love all the play out, of course. And then that was the January, and then this is the images that goes with January that came out. Oops. And now on the back of January also has the snow page and a plaid. I like that they have plaids all through it. And that goes with January. And that's the paper collection. Cool, right? How can you how can you resist like not like is so my saw this thirty dollars off? Okay, what what did they say about it like flicking and all that? Did they, did they know? What's up? Wait a minute. I'm good, Linda. I, right now, I've got a lot of stuff I need to organize through. What do I need stuff? Stay put. You want to spray this on the feet, Hold on. Hold Let me show you. I'll real quick while Colleen is doing that. Um, I did, I got a couple things, just some, I did get Posca oil pastels, but they're not different. They're different. They're not creamy. I was hoping they're going to be creamy because they're a little bit pricey. Uh, and I also got, Brooke had shown these on her stream. I didn't see the stream, but I mean had posted a link for me. And I did get these and kind of played around with them yesterday. Let me put these up here. So these are fun. I use them on my jelly plate. And they'll be fun. I, I love stuff like this for my jelly plate. These and the art foamies are probably my favorite stamps to use on there. So we have those, and then I was just kind of playing around a bit. All right. So I've got that. So those, there was a link for those on Amazon. I think Eileen has that link. And then here's the Poscas I got. These are the pencils. I grabbed the wrong thing. Hold on. Let me find the Poscas. Oh, here they are. Okay, so these are the Posca oil pastels. And you will see. I mean, the color and the pigment is really good. I'm going to have to play around with these. Kathy had mentioned trying to layer them. 
instead of blending them. And then, but they are, they're different. They're not like the Sennelier. They're more, they're kind of like a crayon, like a good crayon, but they do not blend. Let me see if I can use a stump to, to blend it. Oh, well, they can All right, so they do blend. They do blend with the stump, which is good, but they're not creamy. Let me pull my camera in. Yeah, well, it was, it was until he tore it up. He's got strong teeth. Can you hear? Can you hear me, Colleen? I can. Oh, okay. I just okay. 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 I have the face shot in my hall here. I got I got um, some more foils for the machine. Look, I leave more foils. They had turquoise, this green, and this blue. So I got foils. And then I got that Tuesday morning. Oh, yeah, and I got these, Eileen, for the foil machine for $1.50, normally eight. The little cards are already done. You just run them through foil. Okay, so I got this. I already pulled so it's a kid's book. I already pulled some out. It's a kid's book called the Incredible Cabinet of Wonders, and I want it's all full of doors. And I already pulled I already pulled some out for the um, um oh the um, door book doctor book or whatever. Oh, we're doing. Like a uh, apothecary. apothecary book. I see. I already pulled. Yeah, I pulled some out. This is a little kid book, and it has all these little doors. And one of the ones in here was the was they called the uh, doctor's cabinet. And uh, so you open the doors, and they have all these little topics. And I put the doctor's cabinet in in the uh, apothecary book this time. Let's come back up. And then this one's really cute. So what I'm going to do bring it back. Oh, you can put yourself big again, Kelly. And I'm just Bring it back. messing yeah. around here. And then so you can see it's a little. So I think these are cute. Now, depending on what you tear out, you're not going to be able to use maybe the other side. Yeah, you got to pick and choose. But unless you buy two books, Naturalist Cabinet, it shows a cat. That's weird. You see the cat like. But I'm gonna, I bought this to tear up and put in books because I can't help it because they're doors. Hey, Roy. And then this is, is a treasure cabinet. This would be fun. I think Egyptian. Like, hey, look, it has the Egyptian things in it. Hold on. You know, I have. Oh, like, cool. That'd be fun to do pirate, like uh, what Lean is doing. Pirate or Egyptian thing. That would be fun. Oh, that would be really fun. Yeah, it would be. And this one, just uh, music instruments. And if you don't, you can always just use this one. It is a sailor's cabinet. So if you're doing a sail theme. So I bought this, of course, to take apart. This one's nice. This is a scientist cabinet. I like how it has uh, Einstein on here. Einstein's brain. It's just a really cute kids book, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna use this in my junk journals. Or you know, I'm doing like a mixed media junk journal, whatever. And I'm gonna use this in toy makers cabinet. It's just really cute um, with all the doors and stuff. So yeah. Oh, we had my brother had that dummy and I, that turkey. What do you call it? Tranquilitist dummy. I hated that thing. Oh, ventriloquist. Yeah. Oh, those things always creep me out. 
Farley. I think he probably still has it. He's a he's a collector. That might be the trick to just play ball with the dog after switching them for a few. You know? Yeah, that's it. That works for him. I mean, it's not gonna work for Smokey. He plays for about five seconds and then gets bored. Oh, Smokey, yeah, if he just flops, then we're good. Well, that's true. He does just plop. He's not hyper. That's a good point. Um, this one is make your own gifts. I got this one and I fell in love with a couple of the ideas. Some of these would be when I have grandkids, of course. Those are really cute kid ones. But the ones that I want to try are some there's some fun techniques I want to try for adults. Hold on. Uh, let me find it. This would be fun to do your kids. Look. It's flower pot uh, flowers, and you make it look like dirt, like but it's brownies and stuff. So that would be fun. I'm trying to find the one some of the ideas I liked in here. I'm planning for future. Let's see here. The fox. I think this would be fun to make. Just get some brown and white uh, felt and stitch it. I love this. This would be really easy to make. It has, uh, I like the fox. I don't think I'd want to make a mouse, but bring it back, bandit. Bring it here. There you go. For Here's for Kimberly who can sew. Oh, look at that. She can have a, she can have a pocket. It just has some really cute. But there's a idea in here I want to try with flowers. Hold on. I haven't found it yet. Ugh. It's in here, promise. Hey, yeah, Andy, okay. quick question. Did you get the water soluble oil pastels or the non water soluble? I can't find it. Ooh, what magazine is that, Colleen? What did the fox say? That's right. There it is. It just says, make your own gifts and this was um over tuesday mornings and i got it for it was like marked down 50 percent off of like it was like this price 20 percent and another 30 percent or something oh, wow. i so got this for great. like i got this for two bucks so they had their clearance they want to get rid of all their clearance cool and this one's the this one i want to try plaster flowers so i want to make some plaster flowers with you we could do this. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> look how easy it was, though. They, they mean, are cool. I would try. You got to try it. You got to try it. I'm going to wear a mask now anytime I get plaster. <laughs> I swear I was breathing plaster for a week. Okay. So uh, this, let's uh, see. I also uh, last week went to... Um, Oh, uh, the discount bookstore. Look what I found. Country Primitives by Maxine Thomas. I got this for 99 cents. And guess what it has in it? Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of chickens. Oh, very fun. Uh, this is, these are so old, but they're so cool. Look at this, Kimberly. Isn't this cute? Anyone loves country? And Lori, lo Lori likes country. Kimberly is country. Oh, hi, Bootsy. And anyway, look at this. So you can trace these. Or draw for me. I could just draw it. As long as I have something to look at. So it shows you all the art projects, you know, and how to make these particular art projects. What I wanted for is the sketches. Look at this. Look, it's the chickadee farm, Brooke. Oh, wow. Oh, it even has the things to trace. Chickadee farm. There's a giant feeder. There's a giant rooster. It's a chickadee farm. And this cute OMG. I got this for a dollar at the used bookstore. Just look at the look at the chickens. Ah, it's a <laughs> so stinking cute. Popo run. It's chickens and it's stinking cute. And look at these. So if you were if you were decorating your um 
painting like your own cookie jars or any of that flour sugar but look at these aren't these excellent illustrations to draw with paint i love that it has these little sketchy lines you can watercolor you can use acrylics you can use the crayons whatever you want but it's all like rice and it has of course bird feeders and i love look it's a bird feeder with a little rooster top can't you can't go wrong give me your ball Give me a ball trying to distract bandit. This is part of the tall product, the project they showed, the onion thing that you, I know I remember seeing those at flea markets. They're in a those long time. The color, Colleen. Huh? Those things would be fun to color or paint. They would be fun to color paint. And here it shows they used it, you know, how they use it on projects. Of course, these are going to be for art journals for me. Uh -huh. There's the one they showed. I mean, but look how cute these are. Look, you can use this for a border. Look how cute this is for a border, a little chicken border. Salt, pepper shakers, you can just use that part. Oh, my gosh, it just went crazy. I was like, I saw this, and I was like, oh, it's mine. It's all mine. It's only a dollar. This would be hard to draw, but it's doable. This would be this one is a little lady and she's quilting. And then there's bunny rabbits. Look, she's cooking. How cute are these? There's another rabbit. Yeah, it's just really cute illustrations. And um, there's a bear. Yeah, these are like what 80s. We're doing this, I can't remember. But I don't care because I still like it. Look at this snowman winter garden. How cute would this be for a card or for an art journal page? Anything, a canvas, you name it. That's your imagination, right? Look at the scarecrow sitting on top of the hay bales and then there's a stick and hook and then there's a gourd up top. You gotta add a bird in there. These are so adorable. These are the cutest, sweetest drawings I've ever seen. Oh, you have a bunch of books like this? These are so sweet. I love that it's all broke down to make things easier. And of course there's an elephant. I love elephants too. And it shows you how it's all it's all broke down. And then you know his ark if you're doing a kid's room, or you could just use these individually. The duck, sheep, pig, there's your farm. Just saying. Cows. Yeah. Look at the whale. Look how thinking cute the whale is. It's so simple. Look how cute. If you wanted to just practice drawing, these would be great to use. To get inspired to just draw. Oh um, yeah, to just draw. So I love this. There's a whole series of these. Apparently, there's a whole series of these. So that was my fun find. And I got that at the discount store. And then I got this craft and hobbies. To, um, this would be to this would be to alter. Um, Eventually paint in it, alter it, give me your ball. Trying to keep banded distracted by the spray dries. And this has got some really um, old school stuff in here. This is from uh, 1979. Leather working. It's got guy stuff in here. But for me, I look at this as tear pages out and uh you could you could use this like the sewing books there's macrame he's got old school here's decoupage candle making paper mache yeah you know whole nine yards weaving oh here you go baskets you made a basket this just got old school stuff but for me this would be a paint book i'll rip some of the pages out and paint in it could be a great altered book pottery yeah so it's all kinds of can you imagine? Yeah, quilt making. Yeah, so just all a lot of things. Now, there's other things that's useful back here. The painting part would be these would be pages like uh, maybe pull out and keep. 
here's impo uh, imposter glazing, scrumpling. Shows how to start with a sketch and make it into, you know, actually into a person. So, yeah. Realism. Brush strokes, so on and so forth. Here's some watercolors. Huh, I never, this is called an, aniline dye watercolors over here. I've never heard of that. Oh, that's oh, cool. That's transparent liquid watercolor. Isn't all, well, most watercolor, most is transparent. Oh, well. Gouache, showing you a difference. Tempera. Yeah, so it has some painting stuff in there. That's worth keeping. Other stuff I won't, like print making. Oh, here's collage. <laughs> so yeah, it's fun when you look at these wood sculpting. Is it feel feels feet? Do they feel dry? Yeah. Okay. What? Okay. What do your destructions say? They don't say. On the bottle, it doesn't say. Okay. Anyway, so this is just a painting. Altered whatever. The other book I got, I got this book. Michaels. Oh yeah, I got some spooky hands too. If when I bought the napkins, I found these in Menards. Oh cool. Yeah, I didn't really say anything about. It. Okay. Don't just keep it out of the eyes. Not for humans. You can okay. cover it with a bandage. So, okay. But I keep. I'll try to keep an eye on them. Okay. I mean, it's you know it's dry now, so you're good. I'll put that in the downstairs. All right. Get your ball. Get your ball. Okay. I found this over at Michael's. There you go. I had to get the truck and the truck stamps. Oh, I'm it. Right, these are recollection stamps. I got a namaste stencil for the girl we got coming with the fun, this foam stamps we bought. Oh, yeah, and then a country stencil, of course. Ducks, pigs, rabbits, cows, yep, you name it. So I had to get that. So I got that one, I got the namaste, I got this, and I got this book, and I think that was it for my. Oh, no, wait, one more thing. Do, 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 do. There you go. Truck, tape, and plaid. Bye, Brooke. See you later. Bye, Brooke. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I'll show you one thing, Tracy. I, I did on one. I'll show you when I started. I guess I just like this size book too. Let me show you the other ones I have. And I buy the older ones. I don't ever buy it. I like the older ones better. I have an illustrated guide to gardening. It's the same size. And this one's, uh, I think I got this one at the library. Uh, 1978. So it's in that same time frame. Um, so I have this one and then I have this one, complete guide to sewing. And this is what, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, cute. So it's like reverse collage, but you, you keep the part. It's like reverse collage. You're going to, you're going to keep the parts you want and cover the parts you don't want. So if you buy a book with things in it that you like, you know, then you, you know, leave the pages that you like in particular. And then also, like, eventually what I need to do is I'll have to go and tear some of the pages out. But you can see how fun this is. Yeah, I love this size book. And then I'm just, and then I was just going to leave this as it is. Like, on the other side, I'm not touching it. 
because it's just a little pretty picture of a sewing, someone in a sewing room in their spare bedroom. And I'm just leaving that. So it says it just talks about, you know, making do with limited space, you know. So chapter. So then I did this one. I just did collage here. I was this is early in the collage. I wasn't very good at it yet. So don't judge me. <laughs> you have to start somewhere. And this one I did was um this is thinking of my Canadian friends. So whenever I did this, they must have had it really bad with the snow. And I put little hearts on here and warm up and books and coffee and knitting. Maybe I took in a jean. Maybe it was jean had a really bad snow that year. Yeah, the she jean would get it really bad up there. So I think because I, I this is for all my Canadian friends. So that must have been for her. And then this one. I did this page. Mostly covered. I must say it's covered up this entire page. And then this one, I did uh, cover this with gesso and did just a bird page and some stencils. And this is a glittery page. Uh, wow. I don't remember. I don't have a date on any of these. I don't know when I did them, unfortunately. And then I did this page. You're like this one's still not done. And I did this page with a bunch of like cool, like, you know, uh, basket, you know, uh, the 70s style beaded hangers. And then I found this, uh, found this and put on there, Gypsy Soul, and I painted yellow and turquoise. So I did this, and this is Prima Stamps, I think I used. Don't look. And I'll see your ball. Go get it. He throws it somewhere else. He expects me to go fetch it. And like, no, the idea of fetch is you fetch it. So that's what you can do with these books. Is, is use it for collage, just so the pages, paint in it. You could take and draw in it, just so the pages and draw in it. Like use those chickens that are in there, right? From the book. And you collage in it, paint, do all the above. It don't even have to be all drawing or all painting. Do, you know. Like this one, I really like. That's what uh, someone online was altering, was painting the me and got me inspired. So I bought that one. Then I found a gardening. And then now I just found this one. And they're all Reader's Digest. I just like the sizes, but you can see there is a difference. Like this one's thinner, this one's really thick. So this is the thinnest of the three, but I like the size. And you can get them cheap. If you find them at a yard sale, you get them even cheaper. And you'd say you don't always have to have an art journal. You can have books like this. This one I got with illustration. I love pen and ink. And this one is just little samples of different things. You can do a lot of these things. Everybody here already knows if you've done some experience. If you're a beginner, you'll love reading it from the beginning because it talks about a lot of the basics. This talks about making an on-the-go kit, which I don't. I art at home. But yeah, it talks about uh, drawing your house, how to go about it. Love that. Look at that pretty color for a card in. So it shows you ideas for making a simple frame, pet faces. It's just a general uh, illustration book. And I just like I just gravitate towards it. And of course, I love this. Again, you can use this. You can trace this with some um, piece of paper, graph paper, or what is it, graphite paper. Or you can draw it and practice. Look, this little bee, little bug. Practice your drawing. It's all kinds of inspiration. Here it is colored in. Isn't that cute? Just simple. So I like stuff like this. This is creating an abstract. Tells you how to start doing your home painting by looking at the shapes, which is something Kathy and know Arbor talked about with the shapes. And this is something I would like to do online here. This reminds me of the folk art which we had talked about doing. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and this talks about color blocking and creating, uh, drawing the scene, your abstract 
sketch and then see this reminds me of the folk art this would be your teal oil pastels yeah and then you go in and then you color it all in then you go back in and you start adding squares and dashes and splashes and grass and then you start and indeed this is like the folk art which i want to do here online that'd be fun oh that would be fun so i'm to make that part oh here's some here you go here's some indian inspiration arizona for there you go mountains watercolor ideas drawing details it just goes into a, just a touch i guess briefly touching on different types of illustration if you want a little more detail do you want a bigger book this is supposed to be like a handbook to go book just a little bit of everything a lot of cute ideas it's a lot of cute ideas in here Look at the beach outfit. Stinky. I love beach. it. There's how you draw it. There's how you color it in. <laughs> Look at these guys. This is a, a Scottish, I guess. The German leader. German, leader. Scottish. This talks about uh, lettering. Goes into that, how you can incorporate your lettering with your art. Yeah. Like draw you an apple, fill it in. Lots of uh, cute inspiration here. That's what I love. I love finding things that inspires me, excites me, and gives me ideas. And if you, you adapt it or copy it, but look, so there's the lettering, and then what makes it more special is they included, they drew the fish and stuff around it. It's not just a title. Um, I love how they fill that in with white. So this is how you can make lettering into an art form. Cute. Patterns. And this is tool-like patterns from by uh, which I love because this this farm. So it talks about tool inspired by this was inspired by Peru. So you can, inspired by me. I'm inspired by you. Thank you. Aww. <laughs> All right, gonna go run. All right, have fun. Be careful, as I always say. All right. We're dangerous in the house with all these balls around. <laughs> yeah, he'll be fine running and then twist his ankle on one of the balls at home. <laughs> it's true. Okay. So I want to. Oh, yeah. And I also grabbed the little Christmas wreath for the, uh, for the canvas we're going to do. Oh, I got those are the I got those coming too. Oh, they're cute. Uh huh. They're perfect. They're perfect. But Lena brought out a good point because uh, if your doors are too small, the reeds are gonna look not look right. I'm like, oh crap, you're right. Oh. Then I had to draw my doors bigger. I was glad you point that out too. There it is. So I got mine sketched out. Oh, nice. Took me forever. This is where I grabbed the, <laughs> the, the Stabilio all instead of my pencil. Uh -oh. <laughs> I, was, I made a mess. I couldn't find card up with some acrylic. I should be able to. This is just for my hand because it's smeared after a point. But then oh, I already nice. started mine. This reminded me of the olden days. So I added a little um, light on mine. So it's Scrooge and Marley. I added already some stone work on the bottom and then i'll put some paint you know are we ever going to do for snow on the bottom here and then um i'm going to have some colors underneath oh uh, nice so that's what i'm going to do with mine this oh, took me a while good. i like the silhouettes that was a great idea yeah so i'm going to have them you know because the screws you know they'd be out there caroling be like bah, i'm up. So yeah. maybe take it out. So I need some colors. And oh, so, so there's my there's my there's my take on it, Kathy. That's fun. That turned out good. It's fun. I'm excited. And um, oh, the wreath. I want to show you guys that. That was why I got distracted. Left oh, my mind. It's all over the place as always. Okay, look. So the wreaths are going to add to the door. So. Lena said, oh, I think my doors might be too small. And I was like, oh, crud. And then I put mine on, and then mine were too. And then think about, look, so you got to have the, so you're going to want, like, 
make sure the door is big enough. <laughs> big enough for your hurry. <laughs> I was like, duh, I didn't think about that. Uh, so that's going to be cute. I'm looking forward to doing that. Isn't that going to be cute? Is that up here? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, oh. Then, and I could do, I could either put like a wreath on the light. You can just go wreath crazy because, you know, I go overboard. That's what I do. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, gosh. What I do. Can't just keep it simple. It's when I do keep it simple I want to keep it simple. And I have to like really work at it to keep it simple. So that turned out good. The drawing was great. Thank you so much. I've spent a lot of time drawing that. That was hard because I'm a, a be, you know, not a I'm a novelist. I was a novelist, beginner, drawer. So I do my but I like that she's Gave us guidelines and sketches and kept it simple. Okay. Now, coloring it in, not to be another, you know, just to, to make it to make it cool. It's gonna be neat. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to painting it. Yeah, filling will make it get oh. Oh, they forgot this one. I got these two too at Tuesday morning. Oh, and pretty. Yeah, these are Tuesday mornings too. Look, isn't that pretty? That yeah. the Moroccan and the butterflies. Okay, let me get to my Dollar Tree. Dollar Okay. Are you ready? Here's my Dollar Tree haul. Yay! Dollar Tree. <laughs> my new favorite place. So everybody can see Colleen. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Yeah, you like the size of the Reader's Digest books? I do too. What book is this? Uh, she, what was she referring to? Uh, okay, Tracy, what book were you referring to? And you asked, what was this? Did I answer? Did I? Uh, did I answer your question or not? Okay. So I got two ornaments with trucks. Hello. One's for my tree. One's going to be probably for a book or something. And one's going to go on my Christmas tree. Are these cute? The illustration one. Oh, okay. Thank you, Tracy. I'm sorry I missed that. Okay. So illustration. An artist guide illustration on the go, anywhere, anytime. Here's the author. Betsy Byer. I'm, I, these will probably be on um, Amazon for sure. There's the cover if you want to search. I have several of these uh, by Walter Foster. This size, I like the. I like the. I have a. Uh, I have a watercolor one. Uh, let's see, here's one. See, I like these. Yeah, I, I. Yeah. See that one. I have some others. I love this size book. Um, they have all kinds, but this is uh, this one is by Betsy Byer, and then they have other ones like here's a watercolor one by Barbara Roth, and she has this one is a little different because this one this one gives you step by steps to do specific projects all the way through. Um, it goes in uh, this is nice, so it shows you how to draw it. 
shows you how to step one, how to paint it. Step two, how you know how to finish it. And there's step three. And then there's a laundry day painting. Draw it. Step one. This one has step by steps, which I haven't. I haven't done this. It's got the cutest little designs in here. I love the laundry one. Uh, I guess time. Uh, flowers. There's a floral shop. This one has step by steps in the watercolor one. And I love this with the buildings and the laundry hanging out. How cute is this? So this one is the same Walter Foster, the same size and everything, but this one is a different woman who wrote, uh, who did this book. They had different authors. This one is the step by steps. And I love step by step. Stores. Here's the ooh la la, or like the, the cute little French cycle. Oh, and of course the lamb. I, I bought it. <laughs> the meadow land. There's the sketch with the sheep. Step by step. I love to do this. And then the Eiffel Tower. Hold on. After Eiffel Tower, it is, this is Monet, Monet's Garden. Get your ball. Go get it. I don't want you to do it with it, Bandit. He's like looking at me like I have it. I don't have it. He always thinks I have it. I, I'm stashing balls like somewhere in my pockets or he just stares at me like, well, throw it. Throw it. <laughs> And I'm like looking at him like I don't have it. He always thinks I have it. He loses track of what he does with, with his toys. And he thinks that I have like a pocket full of toys. And he makes me feel guilty because he, when he's staring at me like, well, stupid, throw it. You know, I don't have it. Okay, so I got two of these. Then look at they got, look at the little toy trucks. Yeah. They, oh, those were Dollar Tree? Dollar Tree. Oh, wow. Now, yeah. if we do a car barn house, think of that. If you were doing this house and you were doing you were doing something like this, right? I might add it to my folder. See, you could have a truck. Yeah, it could have all kinds of fun. So, you have to have a truck. Or even the big truck we have, the wood tree Christmas tree truck is But yeah, so you could pull out the trees if you don't want to make it Christmas. So these copped right out. So I two oh, packs of those and farmhouse bags. I'm going to make a journal. I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the bag journal like Kathy did last year. I'm going to do the bag journal. And this is the cabin. Those are great bags. They're really nice. This is the Dollar Tree. They're so nice. You would pay five dollars for these at Hallmark. Or yeah. Anywhere else. And they're such good prices. And they're so nice. They're heavy too. It is. These are heavy. They're heavy, thick, well made. These would cost you a fortune if you got it anywhere other than. Dollar Tree, a really good deal. So, this is going to be a journal. That's my plan. Um, this is a craft. I got the craft bags. I love the craft bags. Those are uh -huh. my favorite. Oh, thank you so much, Helen. We bought beef a jacket. Is two zipper pockets. Paul said it was for her phone. It's for her, it's for the phone. Okay, so so you're saying Bandit needs a jacket, and then we can just put toys in this jacket. Can no, you imagine that? Then needs a phone. <laughs> then Bandit needs a phone because Beef has one. <laughs> oh, okay. I wasn't getting it. Okay, <laughs> got it. And then this one has this is looks like the Christmas trees we made with Lena. Oh, it does. Yeah, there you go. There's Lena's Christmas trees. Yours turned out better than mine. Yeah, we did the Christmas tree, the Lena. That reminded me of that. 
cool. And this side, this side is the uh, plain, and then this side has the the sparkly ornaments. I do love the craft bags. I'm a sucker for too. I'm a sucker for craft. This one is a combination. And then I got extra bags just in case you don't find any because I don't know if our Dollar Trees are always different. So I got a couple extra in case you can't find any. Oh, thank you. They did. They had about three or four left after what I did. So I didn't have a lot of those. And I did just want to look at this guy. He, I, that's my favorite. Oh, he's so cute. Again, like you could just go out. Which I do. I have a camera. My phone is full of photos and I go out to stores. I take pictures of things I love and could paint. If you can't buy it or you don't want to buy it, you'd rather paint it yourself. Take photos of when you go places and so you have it for inspiration. That's adorable. Yeah. You know, you want to find out what you like. Go out and take pictures of everything you like. And you'd be like, wow, look at the, I love the muted tones. Look at this one. Santa. I like this. This is a, look at the details. It's a peg. It's distressed. Yeah. It looks like wood. It's all distressed. And that's why I bought these. Look at this one. Look at the edges. All peely, distressed red wood. I love these. Oh, my God, you could take, like, pieces of wood and make a yeah, frame and hang those up. You could. They're artwork. I agree. They are artwork. They are artwork within their own right. Go get it. It is artwork. And then I got the birdhouse because, you know, I'm, I'm a bird lover. Feed all the ducks. So, you know, <laughs> I, I have a, you know, feed my birds every day. My bird feeders, my heated bird baths. Okay, this one's cute. Again, see it's all distressed on the side. And look at this little, this is so cute. Oh, I like so that. Peeking out. I love the colors. I love the color tones too. This does kind of remind me, this is a little darker, but similar to the blue of Tim's. But maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's just got that. Yeah, there's, there's Santa and the cute. Now, this I like because this is very folk art. Mm -hmm. This one's over, this is more folk art. I think it is. My interpretation. Don't quote me because I'm no expert in anything. So, look at these whole little packages. Okay. And then, of course, the snowman. Cute. And these are all like, um, these aren't the shiny bags. I like that these are doll and craft and matte. They're all like a matte finish. And then this one. And these, these, this shape was all the distressed ones. But they're all matte craft ones. And I like that they're all matte. So that's the fun part. Now these are not matte. But... The, well, yeah, I guess this is matte, too, most of it. Yeah, it has a different feel to the bag. It's This is thinner, and this is like, I would say this is thinner, and this is thicker. It's a different feel, but at least it is matte. They had some really shiny bags, and I don't really care for shiny bags too much, except unless, like, it's, you know, that. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna make a Christmas bag journal, and that was uh, what Kathy did last year. So we're gonna bring back the bag journal. Oh, that you'll love it, and I'm gonna bring mine back now because I saved it for this year. There's my phone. Bring back the bag journal. Oh, Colleen. Oh, wait. Do you have a little bit more? Yeah. Hold on. Here we go. That was the other stuff I got. There you go. You found it. Wow. Okay, those bags are so big. You can hang those jingle trees off of them. Oh, I could. You know? Why did I get the one with the cardinals on it? Because I like birds. 
<laughs> I like birds. It doesn't go with the country theme, but I like birds, so. No, it'll go. It's Christmas. It all goes. So I got these because they jingle, and I got to have bells. So they're little. I got silver, red, and green bells. These are the Dollar Tree. Aren't these thinking cute? I love them. And I got to have some jingle bells, so. So yeah, I got those. And I got some tissue paper. I got this one. And I got this and I got tree paper. And I did get these are the two sparkly bags I got. I'm going to put with my snowman stuff cuz I like it. I have a box of snowman stuff. That one's cute. So he's all glittery, but the background's matte. Oh, I love it. I like the snowman. So I have a snowman like stuff. And this is just like a snowflake craft one. So if I need more like I might make a snowman journal too for January, February. We'll oh, see. that would be fun. We'll see. You know. Aren't these cute? Everybody needs, I mean, they're Christmas tree. You can put these on your Christmas tree, people. I'm putting these on journals, people. <laughs> Listen to me. Um, picking up other people's lingo. Um, but you see how cute this is? But, I mean, you could use these on journals or hang them on your tree. Be normal and hang them on a tree. I don't hang them on a journal. <laughs> I think I'm done. You think you're done? I'm about ready to go because because <laughs> I have to draw. Do you mind drawing before Kathy's class? You want to draw here yet? Omg! No, I have all my supplies. I've got everything ready. I was going to get up early this morning and do it, and I woke up. I could not sleep last night. I woke up every hour, and then finally at 6 o'clock in the morning, I fell sound asleep, which I was so mad. I wanted to get up at 6 o'clock. Oh, I didn't sleep good here. I was up till about 3 o'clock and got up at 9, reluctantly. <laughs> I should have just stayed up and done it last night. Oh, yeah. I felt that baby's why I couldn't sleep, though, because I stayed up and worked on it last night. Like, I don't know. This would be my fall folder for September. I love that. I love Amy's stuff. Yes, I do, too. And I was like, I'm going to use her folder That's and, yeah. and her papers. Look how pretty they look. They look very like awesome. And I'm going to use these in my Native American book, too. So, yeah, this is fun. So, well, I could work on this. You could work on your painting. You're not on screen anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Just keep going. I I'll, am just I'll going. paint this, and you can work on your thing. And then you can yell at us if you need to. Say, hey. <laughs> I love that girl on the front. Isn't she cute? Yeah. I just like I needed something like that. Just you know, I want to add some other things, but yeah. So what made me think of the tobacco thing was this. See, here's it's here's a tobacco barn. Oh, I love that. And with all them, and I walked along looking at those, and just yeah, they're huge. And when you're a little kid, they look even more big. When you're a little kid, so that's my. And those were all tobacco leaves hanging in there. Yeah. So they do, and they put them in there to dry. Yeah. Oh, God. How did that, what did that smell like? Oh, it was strong. What it was that? strong. And because my dad's uh, brothers and their wives and stuff, they were all used to it. They really, they smelled it, but it didn't, like, overwhelm it. And I think when you're a kid, your, your, um, set, your smell is heightened. Like, you have a heightened sense when you're, when you're younger. When yes, you're I agree. And of smell and so you can imagine so then that's why I put her over here in the field this is also on Amy's paper with the brown with the sparkles um, but yeah so I had to put my favorite images so I'll work on her okay. very fun oh that sounds good 
I'll paint her. Do some art. <laughs> and I need another Dr. Pepper because I had six hours sleep. <laughs> Yeah, I've already had my, uh, one Diet Coke. That was like fall so, in the country every fall, right? Exactly, Karen. They are huge. I mean, they are huge. I mean, I swear they're like, they were, I feel like they were taller than me as a kid. So four feet tall. I mean, don't, I mean, they were huge as a kid. It was a hard work. Doing that job was hard work. Goodbye, Suzanne. Going off to bed. Good night, hon. You're probably gone. Oh, did you get the one with the cardinals on? Oh, not why did you? She asked me, did I get the one with the cardinals on it? Sorry. I thought, I don't know why I added why on there. I leaned and put that in there. Uh, <laughs> calling me Dr. Pepper because she thinks Beach has a phone. <laughs> what was that? in his pocket. <laughs> Do I have to get Jack a phone now? Oh my god. I just read that. Oh my gosh. Would it be cool to put in the little zipper pockets and if you walk if you walk beef you could put um like a, the little uh collapsible bowls he could carry his own bowl. You still have to carry <laughs> I used to carry that for Paco. Um I carried a little collapsible bowl and I put it in my pocket and then carried bottled water so I could keep them water and we were out walking. Yeah. Uh, it was, it, it just, it does not neat to have. And now they have them where you can put them on your belt, like a, a belt thing with a bottle of water and bowl and stuff. Like that. I never seen them in my neighborhood with them, but I do see them at the stores. Let's see. Let's go with. Too much these are pretty transparent. If it's too much green shows, I'll have to go with a different paint. Oh, that spray is help. I think that spray is helping. First time we ever tried it, the, the hot spot spray. Oh, good. I'm glad. Because he's just insanely licking and licking and yep. his feet are so raw. I mean, taking medicine, it costs me a fortune. And, but it, like in Smokey, sorry, but this is his flare up time. Oh, so even with the Apoquil, he's still scratching? Yeah. Oh. Did you try the shots, Colleen? Even with Abigail, he's 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 a, he's a, he scratches some, but he mostly licks. He licks. Did you and try I, the shots? Yeah, and those that those work for about a week or less. Sixty dollar uh, shot uh, kept gave him relief for about a week. Ah, uh, poor uh, baby. Okay, okay. That is not good. That worked for about a week. Oh, um, that's too bad. That's too much money to spend if they think it'll work. Because I spend seventy-five a month on each of them for Apoquil. I spend one fifty a month on Apoquil, as it is. Oh my God, that's I spend one twenty on Jack, but because he's so big, he can oh. he needs a higher dose. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's been yeah, 150 a month on them for just Apoquil all year. And then when they flare up, if I can't get it under control, then I'm getting antibiotics. And I don't like the steroids. I yeah. like steroids had to be last resort. So I decided I, I had Tom, we went online searching and had and, and Nikki mentioned 
how bad her dog's allergies are and that she uses hot spot spray, which I've never heard of. And the vet, and the vet's like, oh, no, that won't work. It's working. Good. They Good. would rather me not get the spray and spend $60 extra on another shot that doesn't work. That, and then somebody had told me, I don't know if I mentioned it to you, when they come, every time they come in from outside, which is a pain, but use baby wipes and wipe off their paws. Yeah, and that's the thing too. I need to wipe his paws off. And also, I'm trying to limit, I'm trying to limit how much he goes out. You know, like, and trying to keep the doggy door closed more. Yeah. Um, so we, so Nikki mentioned that she uses that. And that's like, oh no, it's that's for like, like bug bites and stuff. Well, I was like, I found one online at Pet People that has for um, allergies. And Tom just went and picked it up and it works. He's not good. looking at all. Thank oh, you, good. Nikki, for telling me about it. Yeah, my vet's like, that's not going to work. He's like, they're going to tell you that they want you to go in small that money. And they do. Right. Like, I spent a fortune. I spent like, I can't remember how much Tom told me on a year on the dogs. It was a lot. Yeah, our for the food for the medicine for the you know flea stuff for the you know all the stuff they need and and, uh, and then they have allergies so it's just it, it it it's crazy but if I don't they'd be so sick. Well, they, they still get runny noses and sneeze even with the apple No, you don't want them to be miserable. Without it, without it, they're way worse. You can add just, let's see. So I was really disappointed with those Posca oil pastels. Is Colleen there? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is spray. Let me see. So I found one spray. Spray said it was for allergies, not, I mean, which the others were, and now, yeah, when I went around looking online at PetSmart and stuff, they're all like one left, limited quantity, one left on every brand they had. So dog allergies must be insane right now. It's almost sold out everywhere, that spray. And here I didn't even know about it because my vets don't want me to know about it. Let me come in and get more meds. Like, I don't want to give it. If I can treat specifically the area that's driving them crazy, that's better than, than more meds. Right. I agree. I agree. You're, you're targeting, you're targeting the, the area. The apple quill will help take care of it, but that's relieving the symptom. You know, it's not going to heal it. But it relieves the symptom. And then I figure if he stops looking, then he won't get his paws affected. And then I want to get shots and, and antibiotics and all that stuff. If it gets infected, I will. So, you know, the spray is not to heal it. It's to relieve. If he stops itching, licking, I'm sorry, licking, then I, I will avoid an infection. Right, right. Yeah, that's what you want to do. And I'm like, why would they tell me? That that's not going to work and it is working it's like if you have a bug bite right and you put uh hydrocortisone on it yeah it doesn't get rid of the bug bite but you are itching to death it's like you know yeah it's better so that's how it works and maybe Tom take the bottle downstairs i don't see it oh yeah i think he took it yeah he took it downstairs it's uh, it was a spray for allergies. So thank you, whoever came up with that one. And sales so stupid that I didn't know that was around. I just never the vets don't suggest it. I didn't know. Ugh, I could get this like a long time ago when Nikki said that the last week. I was like, what? Or whatever she mentioned that. It's all new to me. So aggravating. So, 
he got it now. And that's why Tom was wrestling with the knee me to help him. He held him like to get under his paws. I could help him. And then we got like a little um, neck thing or what do you call it? Cone so that to leave it on him temporarily to Velcro one while it's drying. So he doesn't lick it while it's drying. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, and then because and then after it's dry, you know, after ten minutes, we just took it off, and he's not licking his feet at all. So just till it dries, that way he doesn't digest it. And the Velcro harness is a lot better than those plastic ones. I think it was called a Tom. It has his name in it. It was a Tom Tomlin Tomlin. Or something like that. I was like, hey, Tom, go get the Tomlin spray. <laughs> oh, did you see what Kathy just said? Her uh -oh. job did the same thing for years. And after trying everything, she found out they cannot eat any wheat. And now they're fine. Huh. Wheat. Treats for them are rye carrots. No wheat. So is that the no is that the no grain stuff where you, the dog food says no grains? No wheat. So wheat is different than grain. So do you look at the bag and you make their own food? How do you do that? She just gives them carrots for treats. No, I meant their food. Uh, I think you can uh, they have like wheat free food. Yeah, what kind, what brand food do you use, Kathy? Yeah, it's a Jack, we have Jack, I have Jack Russell's and she has, um, uh, um, uh, shoot, Retriever? No, does she have a mini Doberman? I know one of hers might be, you have to search the bag, make sure there's no weed on it, she said. Do you give them, do you give them canned food too? I need a ton of canned food. I barely eat any dry food. Hey, Colleen, just Google uh, dog food without wheat, and I bet you'll be able to find something. Oh, duh. That's a good idea. Or canned dog food without wheat. Yeah, because they don't, they hardly eat any dry, only when they're desperate and starving. They don't like it. They never do. So I mostly just buy canned food. And I keep dry food in a bowl, so if they get desperately hungry, they'll eat it. And I mean, it's something. It's something down and in between meals. Or if I'm not home or if I'm out, you know, Dollar Tree shopping or Tuesday morning shopping or. <laughs> oh. I will look into that, Kathy, to no know we I'll look into that. I would if I could get quit spending one hundred fifty dollars a month on allergy meds, I would be thrilled. Tom would be thrilled. Yeah, I would love that. Like day one, so we're suggesting the grain free food, but the grain found out that the grain free food is causing heart and health issues. And so now everyone's saying don't get the grain free because of the, uh, it causes heart and health issues. It's killed some dogs. So I refuse to give them the grain free ones. Kathy said, get the one that says all beef and vegetables. Okay, I'm going to write all this down. Yeah, I know when you, you look, you should look for the protein, like the meat or the fish or whatever should be the first ingredient. Okay. All beef. They say all beef and vegetables. But they always have other stuff in it, like, uh, like the fruit and I don't know, other weird things. Yeah, but I guess I guess when they put the stuff on the packaging, whatever the first <laughs> ingredient is, what there is most of. Exactly, Kimberly. I was at the Dollar Tree for five hours, get some dry food. <laughs> See you later, Helen. Thank you for being mods. Thank you for links. We appreciate Bye, it. Helen. Window repair guy. All righty. Oh, did she get damaged from the storm? Oh, she must. Oh, have. I bet that's what it is. I didn't even ask. 
Hey, Colleen, did you get the uh, canvases? I got five canvases for 10 bucks. Oh, no, I didn't because I got the, I had them. I had the big one already. I, got I didn't have any big ones. The big one was on sale for $5. I got five of them for 10. That's weird. That was not of the, of the 12 by 16. Oh, I thought we had 16 by 20. I'm 16 by 20. Maybe that was it. I can't remember. Yeah, they're just the artist left ones now, but yeah. Yeah. I like the cheaper ones. Yeah, the artist left have them five for yeah, I don't like having them. So whatever it was, I had it. Maybe it was 16 by 20. I already have that. Yeah, I had it. But they did have them on sale, which was awesome. Perfect timing on Kathy's part. Bandit. Make sure he's not licking. Now I just have to find a place to keep the brush. Oh, right over here. Are you sunbathing? Okay, sunbathing, no licking. Keep an eye on his little butt. So I'm going to keep the. I'm going to get his feet. Well, if he stops licking, his feet will heal and then all will be okay. It just, you know, once it's aggravated and he's licking it and perpetually licking it, it's just not going to, like, you know, it's going to get more aggravated. Yeah. It's just a bad thing. You don't want to leave a cone on him all the time. That's not nice, but I don't mind doing it for a little bit. I'm just trying to do what's right. I will look for the wheat because I would love to, I would love to and not have to spend all that every month. Now, Tom's issues is not with other with that. It's always just that the meds I have every month. I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do? They're sick again. Yeah. How can do about it? They're our responsibility. And I love them. And apparently, it's very common. I mean, all this like the spray is like sold out almost everywhere. So, I, I mean, I never even heard, like, we had dogs growing up, but they would have allergies, and they would have needed $150 medicine. They wouldn't, I mean, there's just no money for it. Oh, what oh no, we could not do that. We were so broke growing up. I mean, we were lucky we had food, much less dog medicine. So. Where I take Jack to be groomed, um, she said that. Because I was asking this. Oh, well, yeah, no way. Our dogs would have been so in trouble. Um, she said that her dog, and there's a lot a lot of dogs are just having more skin problems and itchy and allergy stuff going on this year. Yeah, why is, I mean, I, been, know. I mean, you know, the question is, is why is it, you know? Like, I can't, I mean, they, they get it all year, and certain times of flare-ups, but it seems like this one seems to be a little earlier flare-up this year. And I don't know if it's because we had like a lot of rain uh, this year compared to other years. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, if now, if they're, I don't know if they're food allergies. See, because they have flare-ups that are in the fall and then in the spring, I don't know if theirs is food related. Right, right. Oh, exactly. That's the thing where I'm at is because it's, but it would help her all year. Their sneezing and runny nose goes on all year. So that would alleviate that. But it probably won't alleviate or remove, I should say, the um, the flare-ups in the spring and fall. But it could help for the rest of the year, runny noses. These guys sneeze and sneeze. Hey, did you see what Dar wrote? There's a woman in Kentucky that makes homemade, handmade pet food, and it's sourced from Kentucky. It's called Pet Wants, and they deliver to your house. They have a store in Fort Thomas. Really? Let me write that down. Pet Wants. Oh, we'll look into that. It says at petwants.com, I assume. Dar. Sorry about the echo. It's probably because I'm close to my camera down here. I'll talk lower. 
See, I've noticed that when I'm kind of under, like below. Yes, my I'm right. Is when I echo. Yeah, I'm right below it right now. So yeah. instead of standing up in front of him, right below it, it definitely did that weird. That looks pretty good. You can still see some of the green through it, but that's all right. Oh, I like okay. it. Oh, what are you using the gold? Yeah, I'll let that dry and I can go over with another coat. Let me move on to her hair. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a template. <laughs> good one, Cara. See, and Tom can't. <laughs> you got to ignore the pharmacy bill. South pharmacy. Yeah. Well, he's going to, he can stress, he cannot stress over it. He doesn't like it. Let's put it that way. But he's going to do it because he's going to do it because I'm going to make him do it. So, <laughs> let's pull that. Yeah, I gotta take care of our little puppies. Responsibility. All right. So, what color should her hair be? It should be. I guess it should probably. It could do turquoise, which would be kind of fun. Um, oh, what about like a magenta or a burnt orange or? Orange. Pretty. Something fallish. Copper. Copper. <laughs> copper here. Ooh, copper will be pretty because then that'll kind of pop if you use it. Copper might be good. Let's see. Yeah, copper. I could try copper. It looks like a little spot, and I don't like it. I'll paint over it. Yeah, so let's say, well, my uh, uh, poor Paco had heart issues. He was, uh, he never had any allergies. He was a very healthy dog. He had no allergies. Um, we had a Cocker Spaniel when, uh, before Paco lived to be 13. He always coughed all the time, but he, ne but he lived to be 13. And, um, you know, other than he coughed all the time, he never really had any issue they lived to be 13 and we don't know why he coughed all the time but he's still you know he lived longer than mr paco unfortunately a two twos and miss that doggy um anyway he lived to be 13 and he coughed all the time and then and he was a very healthy dog i really didn't have to like he wasn't on uh, any medicines he would just get the normal vaccinations and you know flea stuff or you know, rabies and all that stuff they have to do. But, like, he lived to be a long time. And then Paco was healthy. But I will say Paco was a pug chihuahua mix. And my cocker spaniel was a mix. He was cocker spaniel and question mark. You know, where it was one dog. You know, like, you don't know if the dogs that bred were, they were also multiple, you know, breeds. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he was a Cocker Spaniel mutt, and then Paco was a mix. And honestly, they were had less issues. These guys are full-blooded Jack Russells. And I honestly wonder if the mutts have less issues than full-blooded breeds. I wonder if that's the case. I don't know. I don't know anything. Don't email me. I don't know. Just, just from my experience. And that's all I'm basing this on. I'm no expert. All right. Copper's pretty. This is this is the um, Hobby Lobby brand copper. It's really pretty. Let me hold that up so you can see it. It's really pretty. I think that'll look really pretty with the with the trees below it.
I'm trying to put it on thick so it covers up some of the green. What should I put on her mug? I should I need to have like something on her mug when I paint it. What should be on her mug? Autumn fall. Um, um, warm, warm. I'm trying to think of you know, just autumn, autumn word. Uh, cozy, cozy. That would be a good one. That's a I, that's a really good one because you think about like. You know, sweaters and fuzzy uh -huh. socks and, and yeah, a little more um, chilled. Yes. My style, you're more set back, relaxed. Compared to like running around in the summer. Or chill. Okay. Hey, you think Kathy would notice if I just cut this out and glued it on my can? Because <laughs> <laughs> cut her out to try so we'll glue it down. <laughs> okay, well, because I'm cutting it out just to use it as kind of like a template for the sides. Go for it. And, and now I'm nice. like, I could just like glue it. <laughs> No, I, I can't be able to race the. I like the. I like the way you think. Just this. <laughs> Gosh, Kathy, look how good I drew this. Oh, she gave me a website. Thank you, Dar. I grabbed that. This is throwing me because it's so big. Awesome! Thank you so much, Dar. Okay, I got that open. And I'll leave that open and go check that out later. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pure breed. Yeah. Rio is a pure breed. Uh, something Ben was a mix. He seemed healthier than my Yorkies. Yeah. And that's the thing. I'm. So you think that's dead? This is again based on um, a. People also, my friends and people, family, it seems like the mix have less health issues. Like the German Shepherd we have, we don't know, like, if she was totally German Shepherd, right? So, like, she was a stray we took in as a kid. And I, we had a little miniature Chihuahua, which was, and she had oodles of health troubles. A little Chihuahua I had growing up, a little miniature one. Probably not going to show up. It's probably too opaque. Um, you don't see Kathy. Oh, yeah. Kathy is over here drawing. Oh, I'm just talking. Okay. Look working. at See? <laughs> Isn't that great? Anyway, there you go. I, I say go for it. All done. Class starts in seven minutes. I say glue that sucker down. Then you can paint on it. Mod Podge that baby down. Not Mod Podge. Matte medium. Sorry. Matte medium and down. I just want to get placement. See, and I'm, I'm so mad because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to get tracing paper. I'll just draw it myself. So I didn't get any yesterday. Do you have the carbon paper? No. Oh, what? Really? No, and I didn't buy it because I'm like, no, I'm going to draw this myself. Oh, I can't believe you don't have carbon paper. Because I have carbon paper. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like the artist graphite paper. Yep. Yeah, I think I got it at Amazon. I did not get that, Michael. All right, I'm going to... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Let me get another... If I put it here, and then... 
I can put this, because what's throwing me is how big it is. So if I put it next to me. Hi, Keisha. Yeah, and it's someone else that they think makes braids have less issue. Oh, your vets told you that, Carla? Oh, good. See, that okay. came from vets, so I won't have anyone saying something to me. Hi, Keisha. How are you? All right, here we go. Thanks for popping in. We're almost getting, almost time to get off of here. Normally, I stream for six hours, but today we're going to Kathy Arbor's for class. Okay, here we go. Now I can get the right size. Okay, she's working on her, on drawing it. Dot's going. Dot, do you have yours drawn? Do you have, yeah, Dot, do you have yours drawn? Do you post anywhere, Dot? She has some, but not in a while. Oh. I'd like to see your house when she gets done. Does she post on, on Kathy's Facebook? You post yeah, I would too. There. She could post it there. Oh, Dara, she wants to know if you ever got your wins. Okay, she did. I still haven't got my napkins yet, Keisha. I'm still waiting for those to get here. Mail's so crazy right now because I've got I have I got tags from people that sent some like two days ago, and then there's people that sent them last week that I haven't gotten them. Oh, I like the uh, when I sent you guys the chipboard doors. It took two weeks to get to you all. Yeah. Two weeks because I didn't do like I just put them in an envelope, mailed it. I didn't do like the priority or whatever it is. Uh huh. Um, our first class or whatever gets there on time. But if I just send it with stamps, yeah, it took two weeks to get to you all because it was in an envelope with stamps. Crazy. It is crazy. It's. But I was thinking the whole time of Eileen's like mail going here and there and back and forth like it did with Brooks. Oh, I know. That was nuts. <laughs> Brooke was watching it go all over Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's oh funny. Gosh. Not funny and funny. Oh. Take you out of man, bandit. Almost done. We going over to Kathy. She's at the door. I'm going to let him out and make him come back in. I'm trying to keep him out because I think I'm going to try the different, I could try the different food, see if it has this spray. I mean, I can't believe he's not licking. This is heaven. That's amazing. It is. It's just that. And they're like, oh, that's not going to work. And, and, and it's like, it, it is working. He's going to waste money on another shot. Well, I put them through, you know, driving there stresses the crap out. Well, band to get right. sick and then it not work. And it stresses me out because he's stressed out. And same with Smokey, you know, he pants to death, but Bandit gets car sick. And I always hope I get there before he gets sick. He tries his best to hold back and he usually can't, but you can just do it. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Uh, oh my God, just it's terrible to be car sick. My do oldest daughter gets car sick. Gets my old. kids get car sick. I don't both. get car sick. But. Yeah, it gets, my the oldest gets sick on boats. She gets sick in the car. Uh, if she's in there too long. She gets sometimes if it's a really long flight. So, yeah, she's always had that. What's the best kind of eraser to use? <laughs> Um, yeah, I was using was uh, you can see how dirty is my pencil. I was using just a white one, the Pentels, which I saw these at the Dollar Tree too. By the way, I right. threw these for a buck, way cheaper than Dollar Tree. Yeah, it's that brand. Huh? <laughs> went through, your pork order went through Bally. Eileen gets special treatment exactly. Oh, so she loves to ride everywhere with you. Yeah, my dog's like, uh, I think Smokey could, although he, he knows now he goes to vets for the most part, so they don't get excited. But like Bandit, he would, he just gets sick. He has been that way since he's a puppy. He would throw up every car trip. He's learned to like be able to hold it back now. Uh, 
Kylie gets a special treatment. I like that, Carla. <laughs> Eileen's special. Eileen gets a special treatment. All right, so I put like the copper down and then um, just some like gold. So she has some like gold highlights because she, she just doesn't have boring one color hair. So I don't want her to be boring. She's Miss Autumn. <laughs> Miss Autumn. She's Miss Autumn. Just saying. I like that hair. I know. Isn't this neat? Isn't that fun? Yeah. Like, just go find something that inspires you and then. As I said, like photos, scrapbook paper, magazines, books, you know, Pinterest, Instagram. Like, it's just saying this was in the magazine. I was like, I'm not going to do that. Oops. It's funny. It's quirky. I like that. I, I like that it's quirky. And I like that, like, this is, oh, I got to do the other side. I got to do her thumb. I like this is representative of her hand, but it's not an actual hand. So you don't have to fussy the hand. It's a squiggly. There is an author of a book I had that did squiggly lines like this. She had red hair and she wrote a book and it quotes and she did this kind of art like with the, like this is what the arms would look like. What was it? How did they get book out? It's an eye candy book. It's a, not like an art book, like, but she had quotes and um, she had arts and all her girls, all the things she drew were arms and hands like this. Okay, I can't believe I'm drawing online. I never thought I'd do this. Well, at least you're not. With anybody watching. <laughs> uh, well, we're going to paint over it, so we're going to be altering it slightly, even the, with our drawn. But you know what? It's making me... See, if I was doing this without anybody watching, with lots of time, I would be, like, taking way too much time with it. Exactly. Day, I'm just kind of. That's what Lena did. She said that she actually does. If she does a quick sketch, it ends up yeah. better than when she fusses over it. Because she was working on a quick sketch last night. Of course, her quick sketch would probably be my like two hours. So, <laughs> this face is the girl's got talent. Okay. Making her skin a little pinker, at least looks a little bit better with the with the copper hair. Oh, she's cute. I definitely say she's definitely Miss Autumn. Maybe I'll put that on if I could write. Uh, maybe I'll put it on like a, a write it over here, some fun lettering or stamping and have Miss Autumn. And then have Cozy or something on her cup. I got to let that dry. It's kind of, oh, that's right. I erased that 50 times. That's why it's bumpy. I had trouble drawing this little weird thumb. So I erased the folder like a thousand times here, so it's a little lumpy. So I had so much trouble doing this weird thumb, but our hand, I guess, but thumb hand, whatever it is. With the gold and the copper. I love that. Ah, uh, look at that, and then and then our hair. But the idea is. All right, Eileen's leaving for class. I should get off here. All right, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to pull her, like, some of her hair like down into the trees. That was kind of the whole principle is to take her hair, you know, going down into the trees. So it kind of all, again, she's Miss Autumn Nature, Mother Nature Autumn. Ooh, I'm coming up with stuff as we talk. She is Mother Nature. She's Mother Nature Autumn. There we go. See, has to be proud because I painted on my folder, not just collage like I like to do. <laughs> I painted too. It's official. I painted and I collaged on my September folder. Three months ago, we'll be we'll have a whole book to bind. I know. I can't wait. Can you believe it? We'll have Cass on, or she can have us on her show. I mean. I guess it'd be hers, and we could go and um, 
We can make this little and we can find our folders with her. Oh, that would be fun. That would be fun. We could be guests on hers. I like that plan. Hey, I'm making plans for I'll let her know. <laughs> I, should probably, I, I should probably let her know. All right. Thanks, everybody, for staying for the at least a little bit of art and um, and my and my hauls and uh, hope everybody had fun, got inspired. And maybe we'll do a calendar book together. That'd be fun. We'll do that. It's fun to do some projects here. And I'm going to put my uh, email down in the box below for the fabric swap. And then we'll talk more about that next week. Oh, sounds good. After we get all the tags and stuff done. So we might just delay it a little bit till we wrap up all the tags. So I'll put my email down bottom. So you can email me your name and address and that you want to be in the swap. And then um, we'll work on the details next week. Oh, you're welcome, Carla. Thank you so much for being here. Bye, Kimberly. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Bye, guys. We appreciate your support every week and like us laugh and bring us joy, and we really appreciate it. And we will see you Tuesday um, at Kathy's at uh, 10 a.m. on her channel, let me see, uh, which is Hangout and Art. I'll put her link in the description box. Oh, thanks, Colleen. And I should be done drawing by then. <laughs> it's looking excellent. That's way better than mine. Look at that. Excellent. Bye, Bye, everybody. We'll see you. Bye, guys. Bye.